squirrels. We have a window behind you that there's it's at squirrel level. It's perfect. Hello, everybody. I hope we're all safe. We're all well. Yes. We're all happy. Yes. Sort of as happy as one can be. I just did yoga. I'm I happy. know. How crazy is that? What did you think of it? It was fun. Yeah. Tiring. Very tiring. Was it really? Very tiring. What was so tiring about it? It was like all different like positions that I wasn't used to. Ah, I see. And also, um, we have Stow with us. If people. Oh, hello, Stow. Say hello to Hello, Stow. hello. Assignment. How's our stream? Oh, what is that? Oh, I see. I've got the. There's a bit of bamboo in there now. Oh, Should I is. rotate the bamboo to it? Is there a better bamboo spot? Oh, and I can see my bald spot better. Look at that. You know, I was on set the other day, and they put. They spent a lot of time putting powder in the spot. I was like, well, do I need that? I mean, like, I, aren't I? Isn't he just a bald guy? Um, but apparently they wanted me to look good. I had to be, you know, I have to be Bradley Cooper. Right? I gotta... You have to be a good looking bald guy. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Uh, oh, look at that. That's perfect. That just means you've got little plants in your face. <gasps> oh, that's perfect. Look, you, you can peek out from behind the, you can peek out from behind the plants. Is that too much? Wow, did you, did you see the new shop update? Oh, uh, yeah. I yeah, know, he's I in not. full gaming mode. Oh, it's terrible. Is it? <laughs> They took out cryopods. Oh, shocking. So you can't find cryopods that? anymore? Well, that's better. There you go. Now this looks like you've got something sticking in your eye. Buy plant seeds. I should say hello to everybody, shouldn't I? You could buy uh, propellant. You could buy gems now. So I'll be able to... Um... Oh, you can buy bum, gems. Bum, bum. Well, if you need cryopods, right I can here. make some. Yeah, I thought that was pretty good. Yeah, I how thought that was pretty good. How, how, Dad, how's the finger? Uh, the finger is okay. He also broke his toe. Yeah, I broke my toe. <laughs> Just falling apart. Yeah. 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 Aww, We're misery. doing pretty well. It's not the virus isn't gonna get me. It's the it's myself. Yeah. It's... I am my I truly my own worst enemy. Uh, I can see the going. Have I got these? I've got to go through this giant box of stuff. I yesterday I spent the day. Breaking terrible. apart the remaining bits of printer that the tech bandits had started on um, And I want to go through it and just pull out I've just anything that was slightly interesting. I put it aside So I'm gonna go through it. There's some great stepper motors and motors and stuff that I want to look at uh, Now am I on am I on this thing yet? Can I hear? I can't hear Testing testing. Oh, yeah, everybody. testing. I yeah, know, yeah. Well, no, I'm not it looks like I'm not in yet. Where am I going? I'm in the lobby. Can I now? Can I hear? Can I hear Stal? Testing, testing. One, hey, two, three. Stal, how you doing? Oh, Ruby. Hey, yeah, good. How are you? Ruby K. Is that right? Yes. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Ruby okay. Stal. I answered okay. both. I'm just so confused. Now, where does Stal come from? What's the? Is that last thing we're talking about? Um, no. Stal Feather is Steel Feather. Ah. Which is an old internet alias. That is a cool name, though. It reminds yeah. me. Of, did you ever read Bert? No, I didn't. Oh, it was this crazy British, uh, like it's almost like a cyberpunk a kind of novel. My wife mm. uh, was a huge fan, and I'd never heard of it, and she got me into it. So, in light of COVID nineteen, um, why do so the limit is temporarily up? It's so weird to see all of these companies that were restricting access to things, like making it, you know, removing those restrictions, and it makes you wonder. Well, if it's so easy to remove the restrictions, why were they charging for it in the first place? Capitalism. Or I could, yeah, they were saying that capitalism, you know, they were saying that capitalism may not be the best approach to viruses. It's not necessarily, it's the survival <laughs> of the fittest mentality with capitalism may not be our best. That may be the reason why there's like no masks and no hand sanitizer. And, you know, it's mm. a good thing. I gotta say, I wonder, this I wonder is the same why. For, yeah, exactly. I, I wonder about um, other 3D printing people out there. I have like a fair amount of rubbing alcohol because uh, because of 3D printing, I've had, I need it to, to wipe down the, the board. So whenever I saw it, I would just pick up some long before the virus thing. So I've got a couple of bottles kicking around where I guess most people don't, but um, uh, uh, there's nothing. I mean, I can't find anything anywhere. Not that I've been sort of particularly hunting for it, but I was yeah. at, the, at the shopping. Uh, uh, we haven't been hunting at all. Yeah, we didn't, I mean, we've sort of just sort of, you know, we do a lot of food delivery anyways. We yeah, know that we have so to we're deliver. we're kind of relying on, like, Grocery Gateway, not sponsored. Um, we're trying to, <laughs> we're just trying to rely on just everything we possibly can for, what? what? No, no, 
I was just, that was cute. Not sponsored. I just thought it was very cute and oh, sad. No, I just don't want to, I don't just don't. I should say hi to everybody, by the way. Sorry, keep going, but I don't want to, I don't want to uh, interrupt you. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just going around uh, all posts. You know, it's funny, uh, Mr. Jed the Eugen was saying that vodka over 40% works. Um, uh, not on my 3D printer, but, um, uh, I actually looked into distilling alcohol. Like, could we just, could we somehow distill our own I mean, just frankly, just because it was fun to do rather than because we were looking for it. Hey, we should plug the gate in. The gate's not plugged in. Ruby, you how could you let me go ahead and have the gate? Oh, yeah. How? Oh, I should plug the gate. Air conditioners. You can hatch the go-tail here because we're allied. You can hear, you can, oh, you uh, my daddy will take care of it. Sorry. Uh, okay, people asked me what I was drinking. I am drinking, uh, as Baz would say, what do you say? No sponsor? Not sponsor? Not sponsor. Tom not sponsor. Uh, fever tree aromatic tonic water. I felt that thank that, you for the hundred bits. That's what I needed. Uh, thank you. Uh, Mary yes, Mary Sparrow. Sparrow. Thank you. Mary I should say hi to everybody. Uh, so first off, obviously, hello to Ruby K, who's joining us here hello. in the lobby today. Thank you for having me. Oh, pleasure as always. Thank you for being. Um, thank you for being yet another one of Baz's friends. Um, all right, what have we got? Well, my friends. I have too many now. friends. Five, you know, just five bucks. Uh, look at Jack Jasra. Jack, you gonna join us in the chat as well? If he wants to, yeah. Anyone? Sure. I mean, within reason. Whoa, we don't get too many. What? Okay, so who have we got here? So I'm gonna say hi to Malve. I'm gonna say hi. Oh, just drop the camera. Just a second, just a second. Hello. Go ahead from the top. Uh, so first person here, Cap, was 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 it Malve? Oh, and uh, Stout. I was watching. Um... So Melly, J Flex, Jaws Matt, John Fastlane, Matty Sparrow, uh, Jack Jasper, of, of people course. fighting Charlie the boss on this map for Gamma. Mm -hmm. Pack Mom, it's of course. It's much harder than you expect. Xenos. Mm -hmm. Good thing I'm reading Rex's. Yeah. Yeah. I can pick any of the eggs in here. Pardon? John P. Seven. Pick any of the eggs in here. Pardon? Oh, th take any of the eggs. Mr. Desi yeah. Eugen. Do you mind if you I want. take a high level one? Yeah, go ahead. Starg is there. hiding and waving. And hatch it inside the house here. Bert was Wait, very excited to jack back. The yep. So just little. Where the heck am I? Okay, here we go. Mr. Deadly Eugen. We also got Vast Stargazer. Wait, which one's them. a Zeno's gold pack. tail? Oh, I said hi to everyone, Mr. Zara. The lizards, yeah. I missed anybody? Okay. Groom! How are you, Groom? And good day to you, too. Mr. Deadly Eugen, I said Malve. What you drinking was the yes to the answer that question already. Jabrel, 2019. Oh, hi, guys. Twins. First time saying hi to the UK. Sweet. Well, hello, Jabrel, and welcome. Hello, oh. Hope you guys are keeping you safe and well. We are. We're no, no, bunkered. I got lots. We're bunkered down, so to speak. Little pets die really easily. So. Uh, everybody, welcome Good Jabrel, all first. the way from the UK. Where in the UK, Jabrel? Where are you coming from? Cranky old dude. Hello, cranky old dude. There we go. All right, my chat. Um, what do I do with them? They're good for aberration because they give you light. Uh, we're very oh, good, Cranky Old Dude. All doing very well, thank oh, you. I hope the same for you. Oh, okay, wait a sec. Xeno says that you've got the volume at 100% on the PC and can barely hear them. Baz, is there a way to adjust the hear volume? Hear us? Yeah. Let's see, how are you doing? No, it's because of this. Desktop right? audio. Yeah, the mic. Um, you want to turn the game down or up, I mean? No, it's, it's the mic. Is there a way to turn up? Yeah, have a look volume? there. Is there a volume control? No, it, I already put volume to max. Which the... volume are you having a hard time hearing? The desktop or the um, audio? Stop. What should I do? Oh, what, what's, what should I oh, do? Oh, I'm getting this? a feedback um, too. Hang on them? a sec. Let me get rid of this. Oh, just let them grow. They'll, uh, they'll stay here. Set them, tick, 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 set them not to wander. Well, that'll help. And um, uh, unfollow. And once they're grown, then you can take them home. Uh, apparently, uh, Jaws Matt says we're normal volume. What do you mean normal volume? We're Hewlett volume. Jabrel, 2019. Nice little place called New Biggin by the Sea, just on the coast. That sounds like a great place to survive the Corona apocalypse, doesn't it? Uh, New Biggin. What a great go. name. We have a. Hey, I'll James. Come back. How are you, buddy? You guys later. Oh, you guys are very pretty. James, do you want to join us in the chat too? You're welcome. Look at them. Look at them. <gasps> oh my God, they're so cute. They're baby glow tails. They light up. They look like. Uh, they grow up into these, Dad. We have our own little baby glow tails. Look at these. Oh, look, there you go, little baby glow tails. So those are, those are for uh, the kids at uh, McCordick because they um, apparently the kids with uh, physical developmental disabilities really like the uh, the little flexi the flexi prints. So I did some flexi prints. Uh, I did the three colors. These are the three colors of um, of Repcord. Uh, the uh, what do they call action pack or the 
Sure, the, uh, it's like a camo insects. pack, just basically, okay. but I can't remember Checking what it's called. Out the lizards. <laughs> sorry, um, yeah, sorry, Ruby. I, I tend to obliterate no. conversation. No. Here you go. Thank you, Dad. Well, you get all. I, I'm gonna put them. You can put them there, yeah, but you can't keep them. Those are for the other kids. Those are for the kids who need them. Dad. Uh, Dad. What do we got? Dad, you're gonna want to see this. Is it possible to move the plant from the Stargate? Oh, is that bothering you? I'm sorry. You don't like our. You don't like our. Look at my setup. You don't like our plant. Dad, look at my setup. Oh, cute. I know, I'm fine. I Sir, know. you're just hitting the microphone. Oh, am I? You okay. can actually hear it? I am now Is that better? Fully no, ready. Is that better? Can I do that? Is no, that I should put on different gear. Oh, oh, how's that? There you go. There you what go. Should I upgrade I kind of like the jungle look. I can't get that one last one out of the way. 71. Where can I get a level 71? Oh, a spino saddle. Once I tame a spino, I'll try. There you go. How's that? Oh, it's just over his face. I can't get the... Okay. Let's move the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. I put it in my in the keypad in go. my um. I just want my jungle to get oh, some a little bit of a little bit of, uh, little bit of sunlight. I'll have to reflect. I've got to figure like a reflector system to get sunlight to the. I'll be in my uh, base style, so tell me sure. when you're ready for uh, magma yeah. or egg steel. That's what I need to do. I need to set up reflectors to get the sunlight to go into the just to hit the right the right plant at the right time. Um, all right, I need to get through that stuff. Don't Let's start a chant. Move die. the plant. Oh, Malve. Et tu, Malve. Uh, um, Stal, should I bring my Magnosaur egg just in case? Won't that if set I them on fire? If I see a... If I see a... <laughs> oh, no. Keep, I burned the jungle. Your egg in your fridge. Oh, I should, connect to our, uh, I should connect to our Stargate and get that uh, dialing sequence going. Hang on a sec. Um, we okay. tamed another basilisk yesterday and nearly died like six times. Did you really? Oh, really? Yeah. But we got the basilisk, and we didn't have actually die. Have you tried die. taming a, a giant turtle yet? Um, yes, we have. How many, Did how it many work? Uh, dinosaurs do you have now? Too many. <laughs> too, too many. Too many. I'm a dinosaur it? hoarder. I don't hoard toilet paper. I hoard dinosaurs. <laughs> don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. That should start a little sequence of colors. There you go. How's that going? There we go. Come again soon. We can play with that yeah, color. I'm probably gonna call out the quest of colors. Yeah, I am just getting my giga. Hey. Bertley, we have had a lot of success with orchids, and, I, and I've discovered what the key is. The key is for me not to touch them. Check. Um, what I've also discovered is I think right, I finally. I'm teleporting to the back door. I finally got um, avocados. What do you think I'll need air conditioners, or can I use your nest? Um, yeah, it's true. That star Air conditioners are... for. Oh, to hatch your thing? Yeah, yeah if you want to hatch it in my base, that's fine. For the plant. Oh, that great. Is... Thank you. Oh, you could have a little... You could have a sun sensor, so how it goes to the high, it's... the best point of... But then you'd have to figure out how to get it to reflect. Oh my god, how would you do that? That would be interesting, though. So you'd have a Arduino controlling this. So as it gets the light, it would have to catch the light and then figure out how to direct it. Actually, it you know would be easier. I should just put... The... I should just put the um, I should just put the uh, the bamboo on one of my walking robots with a solar sensor, and then it just it'll just walk into the light. That'd be the best way to do it. <laughs> All right, I'm at the volcano. Okay, sorry, I was just trying out the new keybind. I found Pac Mom can hear my soccer. brain working. It's not a pleasant sound. So it's a grinding sound. You're actually able to actually attack them. Oh, um, Baz, how does James join the chat? James Gurney. James is my is my friend in Atlanta who is um, uh, who at this point in time probably I shouldn't sort of actually introduce him oh, as a guy who just... loves viruses, but uh, I met him as the guy who oh, loved was viruses. It? Sorry, I'm gonna... Was it viruses or was it phages? Was it? I'm gonna join a different chat of ours and then I'll drag you in. Oh, can you drag me in as well? Can't. Um... Yeah, and I'm sorry. I keep obliterating your conversation by chatting, but I feel like there's a lot of people online that that I should be talking to. Okay, I can't no, believe Dad it. Oh, Mr. Dead the Eugene, you are going to the, you should go to the pun holding pen for that, I think. You should now, be Dad, put in solitary tell, for that. Tell, um, the person, sorry, I don't know who James. James. Yes. To join Jimbo too. All right, so James, you want to get, you want to go on Discord? You want to- Is it Jim the Jivo? Uh, Jim the Evo? Probably, yeah. Yeah, Jim the Evo, there you go. James? Can't hear him. Can you hear him? No, I can't. Uh, 
Yeah. Uh, James, try going and checking your um. So what's his your name? microphone? Uh, hello. Hey, he's in. Yeah. Everybody, welcome to James. Hello. Or should we call you Jim the Eva? What should we call you, Jim? <gasps> Shoot! Get out of the volcano. Oh, there's a huge lag. Can I teleport? There is yeah, a teleport massive out. lag, isn't there? Yeah, ignore the video. The dinosaurs are way behind I us. I made it. Do I? Wait a sec, but you're not showing them the uh, the, the gameplay, right? You're just showing them me chatting. That's you're just showing true. Fat Daddy. Oh, I right? am. That is true. Which, I gotta say, is far more... I'm far more appealing than dinosaurs. Sorry, guys. Is it is it too much of a lag, Jim? Or James? Right. Just try to work out uh, how to get the lag. You know what you could do? You could move closer. Oh. Are, is, are you listening to the Twitch chat or are you listening to Discord chat? Because Twitch is going to be behind a few seconds. Oh, yeah. You should mute be Twitch. Yeah, mute Yeah, don't Twitch. listen. Mute. I would mute the stream. Listen on, um, listen on, uh, on Discord. Discord. I'm listening to the, uh, Twitch, but I haven't worked out how to unmute Discord. Uh, look, so, you're, wait, you're, look, you I'm with you, James. I, I, Discord is like a, a, a giant mysterious box to me. I, I, Baz has got me on it and I'm reluctantly coming around to it. You know, in the age of, of the, you know, corona apocalypse, I figure I better get used to these streaming services. Eh, air conditioning is okay. It feels like we're back in BC. What? But I need a low. Ang Beckett. Hello, everyone. Darn ads cut off the stream on me because I have to refresh. Yeah, no kidding, Ang. It does it all the time. Hello, Ang, and welcome, by the way. Garmer, hello. That didn't sound like a proper Canadian, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Um, oh, the chat's paused due to scroll. Damn it, I'm, again, I'm, I'm, as, ba I'm as bad as Gurney here. I'm like, oh. uh, I'm like a, a day behind. What, what do I got going here? Jack has joined. Mr. Jasper, is Jasper on here as well? No, he's not here yet, but he's joined. Oh, thank you, Jefflex. Thank you for your shiny triangles of pitch, whatever they're called. Oh, Lothos8955 says, what is up all? Anyone got an answer for him? I would say up, a lot of streaming. It looks like we're going to be doing a lot of streaming. Puddle Jumper. How are you, Puddle Jumper? Puddle Jumper's back. Trodorn's back. Hey. Welcome to the Hexagon. Arc Survivor Hello. Evolved Genesis. Hey, Jack. How are you, Jack? Jack, we've got, um, uh, well, we're hoping to have uh, uh, James Gurney on here as well. Was it Baz? James is in the general chat right now. Oh. Come again soon. Got him. You got him. How's that? Any Any better, James? Uh, he muted himself. I don't know. Uh, so I need 200. How... How are you, Jack? Oh, I'm great. Are How you, are you guys? Are, are you in self-quarantine and stuff? Are you sort of basically staying <laughs> home as well? Well, more or less, yes. Yeah. It's, I think, is, is there anybody who's not? I mean, I know that, uh, I know that Darling Clementine was out. Uh, um, I'm currently hospital. stuck in the volcano right now. I went in with my bag, so I'm having issues. <laughs> Only on this stream so can there be a, wait, side co a side conversation going on about being stuck in a volcano. <laughs> I love that. Like, have we, got, have we got James erupting? back yet, though, huh? Uh, it is, and I went to ch test with my Magmasaur, but I am currently stuck and unable to move. And my Magmasaur... Is it possible that James oh, is... Oh, I'm dead. Is, is it possible that James is on a different Uh, Is your creature okay? Probably. That's why I killed myself. Hey, Baz, is there a way that James could be on a different server, like, or, or, you know, like, being bounced from somewhere else? Is that possible? Is that why he's taking, he's got such a lag? I think he just muted us. Oh, well, that's probably, that's probably smart. <laughs> I don't like that. So James, James came on to mute. He's like, he's like, screw this. Well, maybe. <laughs> oh, no, I can hear him. I can hear him. James, can you hear us? I think James is still hearing the Twitch stream. Yeah. He might need to. Uh, he might need to set up his audio devices in Discord. Can't hear you yet. You can't hear us yet. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm still. I'm still very much on the Twitch. I haven't worked this out yet. Okay. Well, um, Jack, what do you suggest? Is there? Can I? I'll text them. They'll, they'll yeah. See um, you need to go to the settings in Discord. It's on the bottom. This. Uh, Cog item uh, icon and then go to. Oh god. And check Let's see. Your audio settings, right? Yes. <coughs> okay, 
course, by the time I finish typing this, by the time I finish typing this, there's no lag long enough for how slow I type. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I'm so glad that we got that, that James is in the loop. Well, as much as he can be at this point, but um, that James is in the loop because James and I chatted quite a bit way back in my early days of internet and was. Um, was very uh, very helpful and welcoming in, in the whole sort of YouTube world, um, and he introduced me to this whole thing that was happening in England, where basically if you're doing and I, again he'll correct me if I'm wrong I'm sure, but basically if you are doing your university studies, there is a requirement that since the government is paying for you to do those university studies that you give back to the to the to the community somehow, and that used to be in the form of like volunteering at schools and stuff. Um, James was smart enough to jump on the technology bandwagon and go, okay, great. I can go and talk to 20 kids in a school or I could go and talk to, you know, potentially 20 million people on YouTube. So he would start doing these YouTube videos and I started watching them. I was introduced by Q. We should get Q in here. I wonder if Q wants to join us. He might, I don't know, he's been, he was pretty stressed out the last time I, I spoke to him, but I'll, maybe I'll throw him a line. Stahl, are you okay? Although, you know what, maybe yeah, I won't fuck him. I might not bug him. He I, he gets the tweets and stuff, so he he knows he's, he's welcome to join us if he wants to. But he uh, he didn't want to. I asked him if he wanted a Twitch stream last time we chatted, and he didn't want to. So I uh, I don't want to put I don't want to pressure him. Uh, but it'd be nice yeah, to get him on here as well. Uh, oh my gosh, Rail Cortex, that is gorgeous. Bat, check this out. Look at that. Wow. That is. I'm assuming. I'm assuming that's a laser cut or laser etched. Stargate with oh that's gorgeous. How do I share that on the screen? Can I do that? If I just drag it, oh I can't because I'm on the wrong. Sorry, Where'd Jack. Don't bother about what hey, I'm Braille doing Cortex, with your body. Hey, Braille Cortex, can you share those? I'm um, just taking you to a better place. <laughs> a, a Braille Cortex, if you're around, <laughs> can you share that on the screen? Can we can take you to a better place. Jack. Jack's gone to a better place. There you go. How's James doing? Is James still? I'll there ask you James. Go. James, how are you doing five minutes ago? In a ago? better place. Download the app. Oh, what do you think, Jack? Is the, is oh, the yeah. App? Yes. Oh, there uh, the, the browser version is way more problematic than the desktop version, so that's, this uh, could help. That's Jack's very way of saying that the browser version sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's being diplomatic. It sucks dinosaur buttons. Well, it, it, it depends on the browser and, and yeah. Jack, have you got a background in IT at all, or is it, or is that just all sort of self-taught stuff because of your because yeah? Of the how, art didn't stuff? you have a background in IT? I feel like you did. Who? Uh, yes, I'm uh, studying yeah. informatics. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. But so informatics, but does that get into? It's not but but that's not. You wouldn't be dealing with yeah. like like operating system stuff, though, would you? No. Um. Well, it it I think it uh, developed as a hobby. Huh. I'm I'm doing this kind of stuff like since I'm I'm a little child. <laughs> You're shy. As uh, since I'm a little child. Uh, oh, oh I thought you were a little stuff. shy. I was like, what? Yeah, what are you talking about? I, You're live I, to like I was thousands shy. of people. <laughs> like, your life to thousands of people. How shy can you be? Sixty-five <laughs> people. Hey, Chobo, Chobo can in. <laughs> I oh, sorry, 65 people, that's true. Although, this, but wait a second, it says 65 people, but 14,000 views. I don't understand that. Dad, that's a total view. So how long we've been streaming? Oh. 14,000 people have looked at our channel. Oh, I see. Done. Very good. Well, there you go. That's not nearly as embarrassing. Actually, 65 people is more embarrassing than 1,000. It's harder. I think it's harder to be talking to 65 people than it is to be... Um, than it is to be talking to Fowler. All right, Jim, hey. what do you think? Better? I've got it. I can hear you now. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Yes. James is in the house. Yeah. Welcome to... It was to... such a lag. It was oh. like a two-minute lag. Well, I know. I was, I was like... like I oh. No. I was like asking you how you were how you were five minutes ago. Yeah. Um, how are you five minutes ago? So, James, how are you? Is it still... What's any, any new developments? Uh, y yeah. There's a bunch of stuff. Um, anything you're allowed to talk about? Sorry, I by accident. Uh, I I can tell you I can tell you a couple things. Okay. Definitely. So first off, I uh, I uh, the, the Chris Kazart video we're working on hopefully be out by the end of the week. Oh, 
Oh, the, the uh, sorry, say that again. The Gersh, I never get, I never say it right. Kurtzkazat. Kurtzkazat. If anyone's not watching that stuff, you should. It's great. James does writing for a lot of their, um, I guess, uh, medical related, biology related stuff, maybe. Actually, yeah, that's, J that's James, would you mind giving people a little background on yourself? Just to, not to put you on the spot, but just so people know who, who you are. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I am a, a, I'm currently a postdoctoral researcher in somewhere in Atlanta, uh, and I work on infectious diseases and phage therapy and antibodies. And your love, when I first, when I first met you, <laughs> you were, you, you confessed, uh, it was a love for viruses, right? You were just passionate. Uh, was it always I, a phage? Very much so. It's, no, it's every, every, every phage and viruses, the phage are a kind of virus. Yeah. Uh, but amazing. Uh, if you want to see something terrifyingly evolve to do a certain thing terrifying well, you just have to look at virus. Right. It's, it's, it's amazing. It is. Yeah. There's. You really got me into them. I gotta say. I yeah. mean, I. I <laughs> That's good. Yeah. It was it, just the. Well, just the nature that they're. Are they alive? Are they not alive? Anyway, sorry. Yeah. I cut you off. So you're. In fact, you're. Strangely enough, by complete coincidence, we're now back in touch. Dur during a COVID nineteen outbreak, um, yeah. Thank you, Dad. but but so so you're in the thick of it down there. What uh, so you're you're down in Atlanta somewhere in Atlanta, what do you got? So, the the next big thing I can I can say is that the, we're working in universities to start doing testing for asymptomatic cases. Huh. So we're we're asking asking universities basically. Any well, he's got the skills to run a PCR machine and do RT-PCR. Remember that thing I was saying the other day about how we, how we actually search for it? Uh, anyone who can do that, we're asking, can you come in and potentially help with uh, the statewide screening for these? And is this just about, do you need physical, you need physical access to these PCR machines, right? Like if we went, if I went and ordered like a PCR kit. Uh, no, you need a machine. You need the machine, yeah. Because they have some, I don't, you should check out the Odin. Do you know the Odin? I, I, yeah, I do know them, yeah. Because uh, the Odin. I don't know personally. Well, well, uh, Josiah is like I would, you know, I would, I would hazard to say a friend of mine, um, uh, and he he's selling like cheap little PCR machines now. Would that be of any use to people? It it depends on how much the state wants us to maintain a level of professionalism. Uh, <laughs> You're saying my basement <laughs> might not might might not be the place for it. <laughs> well, it's. Currently, the FDA has like an approved procedure to do the test. Mm -hmm. Every time you move away from that approved procedure, it becomes more and more red tape. Right, so even, and this is even what held up. Us. Yeah. This is what yeah, held exactly. up testing held originally, up. right? Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm under no stress at the moment either. You know? <laughs> Just you're writing, you're writing a video. I'm also writing a huge grant to like that. Well, you know, I have I have my daytime job. You are having to like write a giant grant to try and get uh, federal funding for me. Oh wow! Two three years. So I have to. Yeah, this is a key job at the same time. So I'm... Are you okay, Scott? So you thought the best thing to do would be to join us on a stream where I would grill you with questions. Right. Wow. <laughs> what else could I do? You, you obviously have the one thing we have in common, perhaps, is is that we share the same procrastination skills. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. Wow, so they've asked, so they're basically asking, they put up like a call out to universities to start doing these PCR streams, streams for them. Yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. And that is, that's like unprecedented, right? Because as you say, they would normally be required to have certain levels of whatever class of, of, uh, of uh, lab. Wow. Yeah, I, I'm assuming, so again, what, what, what we've also do so far is 10. People who are asymptomatic with contact tracing. Kind of like who's, if you come in contact with someone who kind of has the disease, have you now got the disease as well? Sorry, I assume we're going to catch you off for one second because I'm just sure. saying goodbye to Vasta Gazer. So, oh, it's right. Vast Stargazer, maybe. It's probably a better way of putting it. Uh, who's just got to run. So, uh, yes, have fun. Sorry, Curio. All right, bye. Sorry, Jim. You know how you built the harvest that? I'm trying Because I'm trying to keep track of the. It's the weirdest thing to get used to, and you'll find this. It's unlike YouTube, where you have the freedom to just sort of like you just not freedom, but you have the you basically just work on your own timeline. This you've got chats going, you've got people in your ears. It's it's kind of cool. It's a bit like Mission Control. Live TV. It's live TV. It's but yeah, yeah, oh, which is okay. something that always terrified me. Um, yeah, I assume I assume they're gonna take any positive test 
do we get and then send those to Pez to on to the uh, approved labs and say are these are these positives actually true positives? It's much easier to get a, a false positive than it is to get a false negative in these tests. So you're more likely to find someone who's positive infected and then second test and oh well, wasn't infected then you find they're not. As a certain you're dropping out level. Oh I actually they cut you off is it doing like auto cut off or something? I wonder if it's uh, it sounds it's clipping you for some reason. But um just yelling. Yeah, like, but that's interesting. So the yes, that's what I'm it's you know there's an apocalypse. You know I think you're allowed to yell. Um, uh, Brad, so I'm gonna drop some sulfur if you want to pick it up. That's interesting though. So you've got the ch a, a higher chance of getting a, a like a like a false positive COVID-19 uh, return than you do I'll, a I'll negative. Be within within reason. If the person has only just been infected, you obviously prove won't find the virus enough in their system to find it to see it. The way the PCR works, especially with the primary ones we have, uh, false positives are quite common. Huh. Um, but then we do multiple, before all these tests you see in the media, they've all been confirmed at least multiple times. None of these, none of these are single, like, oh, we did one test and we say yes. That, that's not what's happening. So all the positive tests you see in the media and all, all the positive cases probably are really positive really cases. Positive. That's interesting. Yeah. What are the things they were talking about um, they were talking about as a risk because they couldn't get the tests. There were a couple of um, states that were doing they were doing like flu tests, and then if, it, if you if you had flu symptoms but didn't test positive for any of the flus, they would then say, okay, basically you are a higher concern from a COVID standpoint. That's COVID. reasonable. Yeah, that does seem like a smart way of going, isn't it? It's amazing how sort of resourceful you have to be. I I just assumed always I. I always assumed that, that there was a very sort of, um, uh, that there was no room for interpretation on this stuff. It was a, it was an on or off type thing, but I didn't realize it was so, you know, it was, it was, it was as complicated as this, I guess. It gets as close as you can to being like, yes or no, this is a test. Um, right. It, it takes away, yeah, the, the band is on the gel, the band is on the gel. The problem is that the band can also be on the gel from a point. If the band is not there, it probably wasn't ever there. So the band on the gel is basically you are seeing when you do the PCR. You're, that's those classic sort of DNA. When you look at like the CSI, you know, that's the, those little bands of DNA that you're seeing moving across the gel on the electro. What is it? The electro. Yeah. So the electro. So, so the, 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 the basics behind that, which I thought were fascinating, was the idea that you're applying a little electric current to a, to a little vat of gel and certain things move faster than others. Based on their sort of attraction to to whatever the opposite pole is. Okay. Um, so smaller smaller DNA moves quicker, um, and it moves to the positive. I always forget which is the anode or the cathode. Isn't it? Yeah, we always, we got it backwards anyways, don't we? Like I, we generally assume that it's we generally agree that we've got it backwards anyways, right? So I never I never get that right either. But wait a second, so the smaller pieces of DNA, or the or the smaller pieces are the DNA. No, the smaller pieces of DNA move. Quicker, so they get further on. Huh. Oh, and the size of the DNA Sorry, is basically I'll, the I'll, length I'll of the DNA, the then? Is that what's. Yeah, because yeah, it's, it's all just the same little pieces of protein, though, right? Isn't it? Yeah. 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 Uh, there are some edge cases that have, like, the DNA coil in a strange way. Those right. Coils, like a, like for, for general purposes. I really, I mean, again, I think maybe COVID-19 is not the thing to be doing with the tech bandits, but at some point I would love to be doing PCR stuff with the tech bandits because even if they don't understand entirely yeah, the I'm process, gonna... I think the idea that they could get a handle on it, that it's accessible to them now, I think is exciting. Like, I don't want to steal um, the levels, but final bite would be for great. Them, for them to understand. I, know, I was trying to give you the final bite on the last crazy. When I was an undergrad, Listen to you. You get married. You settle in Atlanta. You already sound like an old man. I remember when I was an old undergrad. <laughs> it was uh, buying primers. Uh, yeah, just go for it. Go for it. Buying the liberty system to use in the lab. Sorry. It was too expensive to use in the in the university labs. Yeah, when I was an undergrad, because they, they cost like twenty bucks each. Huh. And what are they now? Can I like even? No, I can't harvest it. Really? Do you think they'll go up now because of this? Sorry, the lag is killing us. I keep I keep cutting you off. No, oh, now. I've, oh, there you go. Sorry, what's going on? I just no, no. Some stuff for you. Um, right, thank you. 
So, do you, uh, sorry, the question was, do you, do you think there will be, will that stuff get more expensive now, or because of demand, will it become less expensive, do you think? Oh, it'll still be cheaper. The, 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 um, I'm going to hop back to my base quickly and drop some stuff off, because I want to keep all this crystal that I keep getting. It's still fairly oh, easy. Um, <laughs> I love having this conversation while there are, while there's a, a T-Rex being attacked by dinosaurs in the background. Away if you need to. I'll be back in just like a minute. <laughs> this is the most, this is the mo most okay. ADHD stream you could possibly be a part of. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm really not helping anybody or my own condition with this. Um, but there's something I quite like about it. Um, uh, God, I had another question for you I was going to ask. Uh, about the DNA, about the testing. Um, I looked up, okay, so... I was looking up testing. This is actually unrelated, uh, unrelated to this. I was doing some research for a, for a project, and um, uh, I was looking up how blood testing works because I thought like, and there's lots of videos about how they take blood, but there's very few that explain exactly how it works. And I was wondering, why are we doing the blood test? Is of no use to us in this in 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 this case? It's limited use. So what a blood test would normally do. For an antibody, right? Sorry, you cut off. You, I, all we got no, was no, anti. I, I didn't yeah. dramatic pause. <laughs> oh, was it? Oh, okay. Because all we got was you test for an anti, and that was all. That was yeah. Oh, oh so <laughs> um, you test for antibodies. The problem is, if I've been infected and recovered, I will still have an antibody. Ha. Huh. So you would basically be testing positive, even though just because you've had the virus, oh, no. rather than because you've got it. I see. And do we know that we, is it, are we guaranteed to, I'm sorry, James, do you, do you mind me asking all these questions? No, no, at all. I'm just fascinated, honestly. I'm not, it's not even out of concern. It's just, I just, it, it, it's, I, yeah, I just don't know any of this stuff. So it's, it's always, it's, it's great having people smarter than you on these streams because then you can, you know, um, you can, you can learn some stuff. Um, but if, if, um, it, it, do we know that we create, uh, well, I guess, is there immunity? They keep talking about this, this herd immunity and stuff. Is, do we know that we become immune to it after we've, we've, we've had it? Uh, the honest answer is we don't know for sure. All the, all the evidence suggests we do. Mm. It's Which means that we'll never get this, we'll never get this one again, or we'll get it, but we'll be able to fight it off. Uh, that's, a, that's a million dollar question, isn't it, really? Huh. We don't know. We don't. We don't know. Other viruses like this, other co coronaviruses like SARS and MERS, antibody response occurs. Right. Uh, people were less susceptible to them, but this is. This should is I a, drop down now? Yeah, it should be relatively um, Because it's just so catching. It's just so easy to get it. Yeah, it's, it's, they, and they spread through bats. Yeah, so I does that mean we have to start? Look, do we have to worry about bats and stuff? I mean, is that will they? Well, do we have to worry about bats now? Are we gonna like? Is there gonna be like a plague? Is there gonna be like a plague on bats that it's we're gonna start wiping 60. them out? I won't pick it up. Always worry about bats. Bats are some of the worst things for us. You know, it's... we oh god, but I just I love I love being out there listening to them. But I guess I, I'm not touching them before. Jack, are you okay? It's okay. it's so funny how the different specialists uh, have stop. their own. Oh no, never do that. But this whole field that just do that. <laughs> So bats have a, a really interesting <gasps> like spreading disease because they have to fly. Yeah. Level one forty. Flying right. takes a lot of like. There's like, another egg over here. I'm just gonna get out. Sorry. Yeah, sure. Right, especially the way they fly. Exactly. So to be able to do that, they've developed they've evolved a bunch of. One forty. That's almost nine. Immune responses and like ways to, to fight. So if a virus goes into a bat, bat it gets pummeled. So that's because breeds the virus to be stronger and stronger than bats. Thank you, Stal. I can, I can come back like and get the other egg. No, I'm gonna grab it. What level? Um, oh, wow. That one is, the oh, that's so fascinating. Yeah, I, I didn't bother about getting the level 60. Don't hatch your egg yet, though. No, 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 keep it at that. That's great. That makes sense. Um, that's what makes sense to me. So the bat is, wow. That is really interesting. So the bat is just is like hyper immune to all this stuff. So if if it, it if it manages to survive, to survive in a bat um, and it can get into a human, then it's like me going to London. Yeah. I my immune I've got I a Toronto immune to system. When I go to London, yes, I just drop I basically drop dead because I can't like the viruses there just seem to be so we're just not 
resistant. Like, North Americans are not resistant to it. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, I'm convinced that because of the, like, the tight-knit population and because of, of so much travel, it's such an international city, I'm convinced that I get the worst flu every time because of that. Um, it wouldn't be unreasonable. It's not unreasonable to think that. Um, I like making these these the, you know I like making these statements without any kind of yeah. any kind of scientific background in it at all. That's why I'm an actor, James. <laughs> um, uh, did I, I told, did I tell you Jay, that we shut down? We had our that our our uh, uh, the film was shut down literally in, the, in halfway through the day. We got shut down. Um, you, I mean, we're worried about that. I mean, doesn't surprise. No, I was surprised it hadn't happened earlier, to be honest. Yeah. And I didn't quite understand why it happened halfway through the day, but I guess their point was like, well, look, we have to stop, so why, you know. Now, the irony being is we'd all just sat together and had lunch. So, so uh, you know, although I got to say it was sort of sparsely populated lunch. But, but yeah, it was, um, I've, so I've been doing this for, I don't know, 30, 30 something years. Um, and uh, I've never, ever, uh, I've never been on a set that was... I don't think I've ever been on a set that's shut down, let alone one that's been shut down for a long period of time. So it was interesting. Um, uh, but Guillermo, as always, was, was just the most... He was yeah, just an he, absolute lovely sure? okay. gentleman about the whole thing. He's just the classiest that's guy. Okay. Him and... Uh, I really I, I really like him, and I really like his, um, um, oh, his producers, the same guy, who right? Miles, who we worked with on Shape of Water, too. Just a couple of great... Just lovely, lovely... Lovely folks, because um, of course my first concern was like you're going to be able to make your movie, right? Because like he doesn't just make movies; he like he dies if he doesn't make them. Like every movie he makes is like it's like life or death for for Guillermo. Um, I'm trying to tell that by the way. Oh my God! Yeah. Maybe, but not, he's not uh, Michael. Not to discuss Michael Bay, but he's not he's not actually a Michael Bay style movie. No, it's a different thing, isn't it? Although I would argue in a way that Michael Bay, it, obviously, completely different type of filmmaker. But, yeah. you know, the attention to detail in Michael Bay movies is crazy, too. It just isn't basically on story or character. <laughs> you know what I mean? Whereas, whereas Guillermo just has this amazing sense of yeah. he, this world. He creates these worlds. It's so, just extraordinary. You know have, you seen, have you seen Roma yet? No. Oh, my gosh. So it's on Netflix. This, I'm telling this to everybody, by the way. Roma, yeah. grab a glass of wine, sit down. It's not a, it's not a fast movie Check. by any oh, means. But, my God. Meters. I think it's as close to perfection in filmmaking as you will see. It's unbelievable. I've never seen... I, well, no, I have seen many like it. And they were all like 1940s films. It's like... Or 1930s. It's... it's uh, Not 1930s. Um, actually, probably isn't even 40s. It's probably like more like the 50s. But it's these beautiful... It's this beautiful, epic, black and white film. That, like, it reminds me of like The Bicycle Thief or... or um, um, you know, any of the sort of the classic, classic old films. Um, but it's modern, right? So it has, it's able to do things that you just, uh, the, the stuff in there, I just don't know how they did it. I, I have no, just the sheer logistics or visual effects or whatever they do to make it happen. Yeah, I, yeah, I can't, thumbs up. I, so I, watch it. I'd love to talk to you about it after. Have a look at it and see what you think. Um, maybe, especially if you're stuck at home, everybody. Watch, watch Roma, and we'll talk about it the next time we, we, we chat. Um, well, I've, I've meant to be taking vacation from Wednesday, but now it looks like I'm... Yeah. That's so funny. So we all get forced on a vacation. We're all, like, on forced vacations. Your, your, all of your vacations are canceled. Jack! Um, Jack, oh. I think when you teleported, what you happened? took my oh, dinos, and now all my vacation. dinos are dying. No, oh, Baz is dinosaurs. Oh, I did... Yeah, you took oh. my bulb dog and my ankylosaurus, and now they're both dead. I'm so sorry. Okay, hang on, Baz, Baz. Uh, the chat's saying they can't hear uh, Jack. Uh, sorry, they can hear Jack. Is anyone having trouble hearing James, Jim the Evo? I was hearing him fine. I'm not hearing him at all right now. Yeah, he oh. stopped talking. I'm not talking right now. Okay, no, there we go. that's good. So, uh, John Fastlay <laughs> says, yes, I'm having trouble. <laughs> Okay. I did not know I that. I think when Joseph. you left, you must have, you, when you spawned in the house, you must Okay, Karim can hear James. Okay, so it's really just, big circle maybe it's just the volume. Yes, the Baz turned and... down the game, and now we can't hear James. Okay, it's Baz. Okay. Baz. Sebastian. Baz turned down the Sebastian. game. Sebastian. 
No, we can't hear Jay. I love, you have to chat with him in order to get his attention. <laughs> no, I know, I know. Uh, I'll just turn up his you user phone. You did? Yeah, okay, very good. Sorry, very Dad, good. my crisis, dinos crisis. just died. We're dealing with a global crisis. Baz is a uh, game crisis. Yes, my game uh, crisis. Trodon is hearing voices, apparently. And Malve ate pie. That's fantastic. Greg, you could all keep it posted. That's fantastic. Baz is just being enthusiastic. I know, I'm trying to crush it, Paperclip. I'm trying to crush that enthusiasm Style. right now. It's just like Everyone gets to stay in. I get to work faster. Character. Darling Clementine, how are you doing? So, Darling Clementine, so you know, James, is, uh, okay. is a healthcare I'm worker in... Uh, what is it, it's in Jersey, right? Jersey coming down? Um, things like things they're on the chat, like, so it'll take a like while. And Dago's. Is there a really good one? Um. Uh, not, I don't know off my head. So James, I got another question for you. I'm assuming that we should not be doing play dates. That basically we should do everything we can to stay away from other people at this point. That's a great question, right? Uh, your personal risk individuals are still very low yeah uh, i'm not actually, worried about so much that as i am worried about i don't want to be the guy who killed i've already wiped out a planet for <laughs> apes say, okay you know i've seen i've seen your movie right yeah <laughs> I've, I've already wiped this planet out once i don't want to do it again you know <laughs> uh the best yeah the best thing you can do is unfortunately try and avoid as much contact as possible that means canceling play dates uh, a lot of people are saying in so from obviously, I, people might have to tell my accent. I'm from the UK. I, uh, I, what? I Wait a second. Why do we have you on the stream? <laughs> I disagree with the way the UK government is handling this idea of trying to um, pass some sort of herd immunity. I don't really agree, even agree with how, what they're calling it, herd immunity. I think it's, it shouldn't be called that. Yeah, because um, it doesn't suddenly get yeah, transferred yeah. to everyone, does it? It's not like you suddenly become a certain number of people get infected yeah. and then we're all immune. It doesn't work like that, right? And, and exa in fact, I spent the last decade trying to like encourage people to get vaccines and if this goes south and it's remembered as being a kind of herd it's going to cause no end of problems for for me trying to convince people to get vaccines later on really yeah because yeah. of course they're going to go like well no it makes sense we should all get measles and then we'll all be uh, immune to it yeah um i haven't heard a lot from the anti-vaxxers of late uh okay so a little update on Cle uh, darling clementine here yes so so darling clementine is in jersey they're a nurse. They had one case as of yesterday. Um, and getting designated, we've also designated a whole floor for corona patients. Well, better get another one. Uh, getting ready for the horde. Oh, darling Clementine, uh, look after yourself. Uh, so Stout. Are you like, up, are you just like totally is, suited uh, up, darling Clementine? Sabertooth, so I'm going to go to the um, winter biome. It's so funny having these, having these serious conversations with people's usernames. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. um, uh, hey, speaking of which, where does Jin the Evo come from? So, back in the original internet days, mm -hmm. of message, message boards and stuff, the Royal Society uh, and the Natural History Museum in the UK had to, used to have a message board. Right. And I, you know, I won't, I won't date myself, it's, it's almost 20 years ago now. Um, you know, they, you can't, it's impossible just, for you to date yourself with me, just so you know. Like... <laughs> I am, like, older than time itself at this right. point. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I think I should be more successful at my age. That's why I don't want to tell people how old I am. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you're right. I'm, all, I'm 30. Look what I've done. Yeah, that's what I'm going. You're right. I should start telling people I'm much younger. That's right. Good point. <laughs> um, you just had to have a username, and I was arguing with creationists. So I was like, okay, what's a good evolution stuff? Jim the Evo. I don't even I, – I almost ah. never go by Jim. I've always gone by James. <laughs> it's yeah. funny. Yeah, I don't, I'm not usually Dave, but people call me that. I, but for some no reason, it, it, when you know, given a preference, I tend to say that Wait, I prefer Dave. But I, I don't care. Dad. Um, oh, wait a second. So James, so Pacbomb has, has something for you. James, I am a dental hygienist. CDC is recommending N95 masks, but has stepped down, stating surgical masks are okay, but still recommending not N95 for very high risk like myself. What is your opinion? Mm -hmm. Sorry, James, I've really thrown you into the fire on this. Um, What's your what? So, what is your take on? Uh, it's a pack bomb question. If you want to see it in the chat, yeah. I see it. I see it. Not to give medical advice. I'm not, yes, I'm not James is not responsible for any of this stuff. He's this is purely just his own opinion, opinion on this stuff. Yeah, and his name's Jim uh, the Evo, was... and he doesn't live in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> he's Australian. He yeah, live yeah. He's an he's Australian. He lives very far away. Yeah. Sorry. Go on. <laughs> um, my. 
I, my personal opinion is that if you're a dental hygienist, if you're dealing with any sort of like uh, potential tooth uh, shavings or you know um, you know the grinding tooth stuff, you should be running N95 mask just for your own safety from debris from the tooth. I mean, now when I do my woodworking, I wear an N95 mask to save myself from dust from, lo from my lungs. Mm. What kind of woodwork are you doing? I, I do lots of bowl making. I don't know if you see. Uh, well, uh, check out my Twitter. I do a bunch of bowls. Oh, okay. All right, no, I haven't seen that. My yeah. Twitter is such a mess. I have to go looking for things now because yeah. it's just I follow too many freaking people. <laughs> um, but yeah, my, my, my personal advice would be if you have access to an N95, uh, wear it. If you're at a risk group, especially wear it. Um, surgical masks are designed to protect the patient from the doctor or the nursing staff, not to protect the, the, the medical staff from the patient. Um, I'm amazed that dental again, practices are still going, to be honest. Like, doesn't it seem like a bad time to be in other people's mouths? Right. <laughs> well, doesn't it? I mean, like, I, you know. Some dental work can't be postponed, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. If I had a, if I had a toothache, I'd be, I'd be singing a different tune, wouldn't I? Yeah. Um, look at how smoothly Ruby K can go from the dinosaur world to the to the chat world like that. See how she's got that? Yeah, she like she sits sits between both worlds. Um, there are some other questions here. Sorry, I'm really I, I don't mean to ignore the chat. It's just that I've got we've got James and I I want to I want to like you know use him until he's got till his last remaining brain cell is is used up. Um, what are my thoughts? It won't be long then. That's it. Well, we're done. That's the shortest stream we've ever had. Um, Jeff Lex says, David, what are your thoughts on the Canadian government still having borders open? Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter what I think, but um, the problem is obviously not, is obviously no longer a travel issue, is it? I mean, I think ideally we wouldn't be traveling, so I guess maybe closing the borders is the way to go. But I, I mean, if you're talking about trying to isolate everybody, then yeah, we should stop traveling. But, um, you know, I just... I think if it's emergency travel, if you've got to travel, you got to travel. There's no way around it, so you just got to be careful. Um, but uh, I, I guess my biggest issue with the Canadian government right now is that I am not getting clear messages. So I feel like, you know, the best piece of advice that I got, I went to the to the recommended Canadian websites to find out what was going on. There was nothing about oh my social God, I'm distancing. So sorry. Cal they are still. Thank you so much for the six month sub. What, Cal? Cal. Is this because you have the free medical advice? Um, thank you so much, Cal. Uh, thank you, Cal. Um, so, I, 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 so basically, the best advice I got was from the Irish health group that had a nice little animation. I mean, not to be an idiot, but I just felt like I wanted very simple rules on what I needed to do, and they were talking about no, the best thing to do is to keep apart from people. So I'm not going to host tech bandits, but my, but my Canadian government hasn't told us that yet, which I find very frustrating. Because I feel well, like not testing everybody. well, they're not testing anybody. They're testing like hundreds of people a day instead of the. They're the, testing only the most severe cases. They're testing our. They're testing our prime minister. You notice that Trump and Trudeau both get tests, but no one else can get them. Like it's just, it's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, it's I. Look, I'm a germaphobe at the best of times. Like I, I I'm sort of a, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, a basically obsessive hand washer. Yeah. I Mo Mojo Miki, thank you so much for the sub as well. Oh, thank you. I've got subs yeah, happening too. I'm sorry, I'm sorry chatting guys. On. I'm really focused on the game, and when and I'm very focused on chatting. Yeah. Sure. Well, that's good. So between the two so of us, so between we're, the we're two covered. of us, we are. So Groom says this. Groom okay. Up. So so Groom says Canada.ca. That's where I went to before, but they hadn't. Please stop. Okay. Landing prescriptions, essentials, prevention and risk. So okay, so prevention and risk. This is what I went to, and it said. If you have traveled to an at-risk area, well, we are—we're all at-risk areas now. Like, so I don't understand what, why that's still up there, right? So what do I need? I mean, James, am I being, am I yeah, being uh, just too on. grumpy? But to me, no, no. So to to put into perspective here, um, a month court we we considered that containment has failed. I've set the password to the same a month one ago. as it is we, on we yours. We considered it failed a month ago. So that's that's if you'd started mass quarantines a month and a half ago, it might have worked. Right. There you go. Uh, that doesn't mean we should fridge, reduce travel and that stuff now. Still, it will have, have an impact, but the time to actually make it matter has has passed. It's coming. Mm. Now yeah. it's limiting that impact. 
So I've just been sent the Canada.ca COVID information again. I mean, this is my frustration. Is the so first thing it's dinosaur? Sorry, I'm just looking at. Is, which one you got? <laughs> the tiny dinos. Oh, the little <laughs> raptor here. Mini raptor. Oh my god, that's great. <laughs> it's like a little punk, like a little, it's a little punk kid. Um, yeah, so this is going like, if you travel, so the first thing it says, preventing coronavirus, if you travel to an at-risk area, what the hell? Again, th what if we haven't? And then if you have, reduce contact with others. I don't, I do not believe in self-isolation. I do not believe it works. If you truly need to be quarantined, you need to be quarantined. You can't, I don't think no, any of us are capable of properly quarantining each other. And you know what I mean? I like, think this, this, you're always going to make stupid exceptions or do dumb things. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's just not that yeah, good. It's, it's hard, it's hard not to, again, but the, 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 the the you attack so rate, so the number of times you come into contact with someone, if you reduce it by half, if you like, if you normally go outside and you spend, you go out to the shops in the morning and then you go to, let's yeah. say you get a dinner once or twice a week, if you cut your, that, those down by half, you are reducing how many interactions you have with people and reducing yeah. how many times the virus has a chance to spread. Even if you're not perfect at it, cool. any action is better. Um, better than not. Yeah. So it's just, yeah. but again, I uh, feel like that should be on, that should be the first and foremost thing when it talks about prevention and risks about the coronavirus going out to the public. The first thing you should say is do your best not to, you know, like my mom went to McDonald's to get the kids food in London. And I was like, mom, you're 70 something years old. That is like the stupidest thing you can do. Because, oh, well, no, it was really busy. So I left. I was like, yeah, but mom, like that defeats the whole purpose, you know? Uh, well, the kids were hungry. Like, then send the kids. I mean, well, I wouldn't even send the kids for that matter because they'll bring it back. Um, yeah. Again, there's also, I mean, you know this, the British have a very different approach to disease than many other places in the world. And they have a, there's a certain mentality of like, you know, sort of grin and bear it type thing. Yep. Um, Stiff upper lip and all that crap. Especially uh... the older bunch. Um, yeah, which obviously my, my grandparents are, you know, in the in the close close to three digits let's say really they wow. are in, in unsufferable about it they're like oh it's fine it's like no it's not I, it's not it's not fine just listen to me like it's not okay um, well i guess you've yeah. also they've lived through i mean they've lived through wars yeah. i mean they've well, lived through all of this before yeah my 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 grandfather was uh, born in what was then northern rhodesia oh wow um, he he he's one he was one of like three or four and he was the only one want to make it through childhood as diseases go he has a fairly personal understanding of what what infectious disease can do but now you know he's an old stubby git and it's yeah like yeah he needs to listen to yeah to other people it's like my dad my dad he was going to he was he flew to england uh i guess a couple of weeks ago uh and i said look no it wasn't a couple of weeks like a week ago and i said dad i really think you should reconsider this and He's like, he's like, he's like, no, no, I think it's okay. As long as, as long as, as long as your mother doesn't cough on the plane, we should be okay. I'm like, she's got a cough? <laughs> it's like, what? What the, like, again, I feel like people are missing certain parts of the, again, I guess you just get, you know, I get, you, I, this is why I feel like you want to be, especially when it comes to governments. And if you've got a government healthcare system, I feel it's truly their responsibility to be making stuff very clear to people. Like, I, I it, it, it worries me that I'm going to Twitter to get information, that I'm going to, you know, that I'm, I'm calling up my friends in rural Australia somewhere for, my, for, for his advice on stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it's, uh, uh, is this kind of like being a doctor? Are you getting, do you get asked stuff all the time? My father used to complain that he'd go to parties and everyone would sort of start showing him rashes and things. Like, is this, is this, is this the same thing? Fortunately, most of my friends here are also exactly like you know, same position as I am, PhDs in microbiology. So we're all we're all used to it now, and like no one's actually we're not asking each other. Although my old uh, my old boss has been quite funny about it. He's um he's the world's greatest pessimist. So he's been for like two months saying this is going to destroy the world. <laughs> like, right, <laughs> right. Shush him a couple times in public because he's a well-known microbiology professor. Like, no, don't say that to people. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, it's terrifying. But that's it. I mean, it's that. It's again. It's managing the information too. Like, I don't. I don't envy the government's position because what do you do? You don't want mass mass hysteria. I mean, but you know, like Jane went to the store the other day. We've got a big sort of grocery store at the end of our street, and um, you know, there's yeah, there's definitely stuff you can't get. Um, the stuff you can get. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've changed the way we eat. 
I'm not eating as much, which is probably a good thing. Um, but we're, it's definitely making me more conscious of this stuff. And you see where all of a sudden I suddenly go, all of a sudden you suddenly go, yeah, redundancy department, redundancy. Um, that I see how my parents struggled with our wastefulness, if that makes sense. Right. Like, if you grew up in a time when you had to watch this stuff, when you were concerned about this stuff, when, when all of these things had very dramatic repercussions on the, your family, your society, you know, I could see why my, like, I remember my granny getting so angry because I put butter on my toast before I put peanut butter. And I was like, well, why wouldn't I? She's like, well, that's a waste. That's a waste. You're going to put, you can't put, that's like, that's, you're wasting butter. Um... And I couldn't get over how angry she was. And my, and my mother, I remember my mom saying, like, well, she grew up in the war, like, where, like, you know, that would be the thinnest layer of peanut butter you could possibly imagine, you know, on a piece of bread that they chopped the mold off. Like, I mean, it was like, you know, it was, they, it was a very... recycled paper towel. Oh, my God. Your mother recycled paper towel. towel. That's great. My grandmother. My grandmother. My no, your grandmother. Okay, all right. Very good. Yes, don't get your mother in trouble. <laughs> my, my, my dad has this horrific story about he used to go and visit this this uh, this old this old woman in the village and um, she would offer them these these almonds these these sort of sugar coated almonds and um, it was the third or the fourth trip that he discovered that they were that she doesn't like almonds but she liked the chocolate so she would <laughs> suck the chocolate off the outside of these candies and then put them in a bowl for guests <laughs> I just I was like, oh, God, what? that's like something out of a horror film. Like, it was, could you imagine that? You're on the third visit, and you suddenly realize that she... <laughs> anyway, um, now maybe he just made that up, but if, even if he did, he's genius. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I think our, just the nature of our understanding of disease and our understanding of this stuff is just, I think if you, I mean, the funny thing is, James, I would probably be having these discussions with you even if there wasn't a, a big thing going on right now, because I just... There's so many things. Baz was saying that, you know, school's boring, learning's boring, all this kind of stuff. And I was like, well, I think you need to look, you need to try to find a way to find things interesting. Because if you do, it's the most amazing place to be living. Like, it, like we're, like there's so many cool things to understand. And the more you understand, yes, the more terrifying things could be in some ways. But I just, you know, this stuff is, I, you know, as, you, as I said, you got me excited about viruses. <laughs> like, who the hell does that? Um, all right, I should go to the chat for a second, just make sure I'm not missing anything hugely important. Like, yeah, a bag of fertilizer. what's none, what are there none of in, uh, in Canada now, Jetflex? Or barely any? Whoa. Are you talking about oh, tests? Thank or? you. 200. Was what? it really 200? I just grabbed everything. Oh, yeah. Karem's talking about her, uh, about their grandmother using, uh, several cups Is of tea a day, but using the same oil? tea bag throughout the day. I remember that. I fertilizer in the fridge. Um, oh, so it doesn't even spoil? The, the timer on there is... Full. Life is worth living. Thank you, Trodorm. That's good to know. What, do you think I was, like, on the edge there? <laughs> Just put it in a box somewhere. Um, yes, Puddle Jumper. Really good point. Thank you. Thank you, James. Thank you for, for being... Uh, uh, for throwing, allowing me to throw you on the spot here. How much do you think um, I You know, actually, James, if you have any interest in, in sharing your... Um, your YouTube channel, feel free to cut and paste it into the, uh, into the chat. You know, I, haven't, I haven't made anything on it for about... Five six years. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's, yeah get, just like, watch watch Kurtz Bazaar instead. Oh Kurtz Bazaar, there you go. Well, throw that link in. If you got that, throw that in. Um, or I'll try. Let me see if I can do that. Um, because they yeah they are amazing. It's true. Of course, I can never say it or spell it. I should add. Kurtz. What Kurtz Bazaar? And uh, I, I, that's the last my thing I picture. need to spell is. Do you have any? Um, it's not hair. fair. You get to say it all the time. Hair? I rarely do. Kurtz. Oh, I can. Do you have some scissors? Yeah. Ah, there you go. I had a good job in front of mine oh, sitting down for about three hours while she she I made might the, repair them then, the, so. <laughs> the over and over and over again. So yeah, I need close to enough that it wasn't in the soul. Repair. You will get this right. We should get we should get. Uh, I'll um. We should get our friend um, Smithy. It a Jack on that. Jack could be Jack. How do you say, how do you say Kurtzkasak? Kurtzkasak. There you go. Kurtzkazak. See, he's got it down. He's got it down. Um, have you seen their stuff uh, at all, Jack? Yeah, it's awesome. Oh, so good. There you go. I put it. I put it in the. Um, I put it in the um, whatever it's called, the stream chat. If anyone wants to see it. If oh, you've already done that. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm like the slowest. I'm the slowest host known to man. Um, all right. No, I mean we can live constantly in fear of the amazing wonders that exist, or we can just live it as the best as we can. To quote Frank 
Herbert's Dune. Fear is the mind killer. Oh, you know, I've been thinking about Dune of late. Don't know why. Sort of missing that world somehow. Uh, how would people react if we had the rationing today that they used to have? Yeah, there would be like riots. I mean, this is the funny thing is that I think we're going to discover at the end of this, um, and obviously anyone feel free to jump in and correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like much as I have obviously many concerns about the way China is run, uh, you know, they're in a far better position, I think, to be handling and to be documenting this process than anybody else. I mean, their, their information will be invaluable if, they can, if they're willing to share it. Whereas the American stuff and the Canadian stuff, I don't know how valuable it's going to be because we just haven't done the testing and we haven't done the quarantines and we haven't done a lot of the sort of the draconian kind of things. Well, yet, I should say. That, that, that they were sort of capable of doing in um, in China. Because, you know, it's that difference between personal freedoms or or societal concerns. And I think China is very much based on uh, on the population rather than the individual. And that makes it very, very obvious in situations like this how how different their, their approach is and how effective it is. While not by any means pleasant, they're much more capable of doing the unpleasant realities of this stuff than we are. Now, I'm not going to be racing off to live in China or anything soon. I just, just saying. Um, yes. So, so that old channel that James just posted, that's what, that's, I mean, that was what, um, uh, I, that's what I was looking at back in the day. Um, when I first, uh, I think it was Q introduced us, didn't he? It was, it was, you I think talk- so. yeah, it was Q, yeah. So it Q was Q. Was on, we used to do, I used to do a podcast and Q came on the podcast. You used to, he mentioned you, he was Chinese you and they're like oh cool i I don't i know david helix stuff that's all that's too it's it is a weirdly tiny world of youtube yeah um but i gotta say i spent like i do all of my burn and learns are on youtube just because they're i I mean they're they're their own little thing um Mm. but this is a whole different world and i love i just really enjoy this there's something kind of weirdly it's almost like a bit a bit like doing a play there's a, that live aspect has a, you sort of don't know where things are going to go. And then every so often some weirdo will like post something really weird in the chat and everyone will freak out and ban them. <laughs> yeah. That's generally the way it goes. That's some really horrible stuff is showing up. Uh, okay, wait a sec. David, did you see the videos of them disinfecting entire roads and using drones to disinfect buildings? So what would they be spraying them with then? Just alcohol? Or Probably hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide. But yeah. Isn't that corrosive though? Is it hydrogen peroxide not? Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. A little burn. If you feel the burn, you know it's doing its job. Um, really? So they just a m- so a fine so misting of hydrogen it. peroxide. Yeah. Jeez. The the nice the nice thing about this virus, if there is a nice thing, is that it's incredibly easy to destroy. Like hand soap will literally destroy the virus. Right. We were talking about this the other day. This I was fascinated by this. The idea that it's little spikes. Or what grabs onto? Was it, would it be grabbing onto cells, or it grabs onto? It, it'd be grabbing onto the receptor. It'd be grabbing onto the ACE two. So basically, it it sort of binds with the cell. That's how it connects to the cell with those little recept with those little yeah. the little spikes. But between yeah. those spikes, there's a like a lipid membrane, like a fat well, membrane, right? You know, no, normally, this, I'm, I'm doing arm movements here. I'm trying to <laughs> like act it out by hand. Uh, normally the spikes actually stick through the uh, the lipid envelope. So the lim- lipid envelope, oh. I think, for this virus is stolen from its last host. So it, when it bugs off the cell, it takes a part of the outer membrane with it huh. and uses that to cope. Uh, and oh, I think might God. Like, probably, yeah. they also could use chlorine to, to, to sterilize stuff. Chlorine works incredibly well against these viruses. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Bleach, basically. Oh, again, right. they, they're, they're wimpy viruses. They're not going to survive particularly well once you take Taking that lip with the arrow. Well, I don't know them fighting words there, James. He yeah, just called it. Survive. Just for the record, COVID nineteen. He just they, he just called <laughs> you a wimpy <laughs> virus. Yeah, just called you out. Yeah, he's a bully. It's a bully virus. Uh, hello, Saladin. Welcome and hello, people nine nine nine. Hello to you. I don't I think you're new to the new to the party. As is Captain Atlan, Cap Atlan, I believe. Um, some violent some viruses are much more resilient. Okay, so Pacbum, what ones are more resilient? What do you so what do you like? What's what's a, what what is the most in your mind, James? What are the ones you've encountered that are like crazy resilient, and why? Huh. Like, are there any ones that you go like, wow, that's like that is tough to get rid of? Uh, yeah, drop it into your hatchery. So smallpox is pretty good. It's just, um, 
because it lives a long time on surfaces or, or what's the yeah it's, it just it doesn't um... well, how do you put it in do you have to like put it uh This is this is the yet. sound of James trying to make it not too complicated for me. That's that's what that sound is. Just so you know. Yeah. Uh, With that that pause is really like saying, "Let me let me try to dumb it down for you." Um, it doesn't need a liquid layer. I believe this one. Um, we've also we've also been able to get an awful old like old bottles and old bits of paper for uh, things like stored in back of freezers for ages, which makes me think it's pretty resilient. Huh. Um, most, yeah, I probably goes pretty good surviving too, I think. Oh, thank you, Ba, thank you, Bruce, Greg, Greg, by the way, for the, uh, for the subscription. And hello to you. Five months, wow, thank you. Um, uh, and Groom, hello, Groom, measles is pretty scary. Yeah, what about measles? Thank you so much for the sub, Blue Greg. So, the biggest problem with measles is, uh, how easy it spreads, um, when we talk about uh, when we talk about viruses spreading throughout populations, like we typically there's a number, there's a thing we call the R naught, which is how oh uh, yeah I love this the R naught yeah yeah uh, yeah it's how many people get infected uh, when uh, so one person might infect for, for common flu a single person probably infects one to two people it's only about one point four for seasonal flu so a single person is likely to infect more more than one person which means it'll spread through the population. Measles uh, is somewhere in the range of like ten to twenty, depending on the population and certain things. It's Why? Really, what's the, what's the difference? Person, it's just it's in the throat. It coughs out really easily. It just gets in. It, it doesn't require particularly large infections. It goes through a whole bunch of yeah. It just it's really going to hmm. get into the body. Um, but it's also it's a very specialized disease. It does it doesn't have a natural reservoir outside, so you'd expect it to spread pretty well. Otherwise, evolutionarily, it probably die out pretty quickly. Huh. Um, so, so that's why you get a mass infection. Yeah. And I see. Yeah. Right, right, right. There's also why we, could, if we just got our act together, we could eradicate it. Well, like, we kind of did for a while there. Right? <laughs> yeah, until the anti... I don't even want to... The antichrists. I mean, sorry, anti-vaxxers. Um, yeah, I just... Oh, God, anyways. That's a whole, whole other thing. Um, how we can politicize anything, I don't understand now. Like, I don't know, I don't know how everything can, can be politicized now. Like, I don't know how viruses can be politicized, but... Um, 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 interesting. So, so, so that was a tough one. What about, uh, what, are, what are the other ones? I mean, there's like, uh, have you ever read, there's a, there's a book, look, <laughs> fun, cheesy reading that you might enjoy. Cause I know you've got so much free time right now. Um, uh, but this is sort of about to everyone as well. It was one called, um, I am Pilgrim. Have you read that? It's a, it's I, a, did you? No, I didn't. What was the name of the book? I missed it. It's called I am Pilgrim. Oh, no, I haven't read that, no. It is, there's going to be a movie, so before it comes out, read the book, because you know the movie's going to suck. Um, but uh, the basic premise is, it's, it's two perspectives on, on, a, uh, on a terrorist, on a potential terrorist attack. And, but it is a, it is a viral-based attack. Mm. So it's a biological attack. Um, and I just found, I mean, it's, ve it's very sort of Dan Brown, very, very easy to read very hard to put down because every chapter ends with like a dun 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 you know so uh, and a fun silly popcorn read but also kind of terrifying because it talks about building how easy it is to build these things basically um, it's just a matter of yeah. actors are uh, can you guys listen to my dino boy, shadow um, most times you like it's, it's so funny. Yeah. You know, my back goes up. Whenever I hear bad actors, I instantly get slightly offended by that. Just, yeah. <laughs> you could, you could, um, um, after 9-11, I mean, after when they had that, uh, the first case of um, uh, anthrax. Oh, anthrax, right, right. I think, right. A, lot people, I think a lot of people forget this. Like, like the day or two after 9-11, someone started posting oh. anthrax to the... To the um, this, the person who ended up being, and I, I don't want to get sued, so I'm going to be careful... The best of my knowledge, the person who ended up being was a leader of a lo laboratory that was working on anthrax. Uh, this is a world-leading expert, and decided that he was going to send anthrax to basic political rivals, people he didn't like very much, all this sort of stuff. This really? is a guy who, who is meant to be one of the, the leading experts in this, one, you know, clearly an intelligent person, working at high-level molecular biology, 
and he still made some very serious rookie mistakes about how to do this. So it's it's he not made as rookie. easy as it might think. I, I sorry, he made rookie mistakes in that he was unsuccessful in killing everybody. Or no. <laughs> and and the strains he used, the way he did it, the way he handled. Um, you know, it, it goes to tell you that scientists how probably don't do make the best stuff? like career criminals. Right. Right. So even so, even with the knowledge necessary, it's still not quite as easy as. Still I'm, it's not quite as easy. Uh, he didn't, he didn't try and jump. I would have thought the reality is, I mean, the thing that became apparent. Well, I am Pilgrim is fun because it's just it's just fun basically. I also want some um, obsidian. But so and all the different things that you know. I mean, again, some of it's probably yeah. silly for, for if you actually know what's going on. But I I was thoroughly in, in I was thoroughly involved, um, engaged I should say, uh, thoroughly involved. Um, <laughs> But, uh, I mean, to me, I've always said, like, there's, everyone's worried about these very complex or complicated, how is science going to be used to, as, you know, we got to protect this stuff, otherwise people are going to use it as weapons. The reality is, you know, you don't, you don't have to do much. Like, like, basically, at this point, you could just find someone who's sick with COVID-19 and then just get on a plane and fly somewhere you don't, you know what I mean, and just, and do exactly what you're not supposed to do. That would be a far easier way than creating something. There's been cases of people doing this now. There are people who have willfully gone out and infected people. Why? Because they're insane. Oh, okay. Well, that, like, that would be my first guess. Well, yeah. I, I mean, I've seen videos of people like going around and like coughing and then putting it on car doors and stuff. That just seems. I, I don't even. I mean, that to me, that's attempted murder. I mean, there's no. I don't think there's any way around that. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I. But it, it's it's. I, I was explaining this to my my folks the other day. It's like the back. problem with these sort of things is, is there's I'll no there's no gunshot in the dark. There's Art Street, at Franz Ferdinand being shot. There's no plane in Twin Towers. There's no you know there's no a single event that mm. makes the zeitgeist go oh crap this is this is this is a I have been telling people now it's coming up to a month and a half. In all seriousness, this is a major global issue that's coming. We've yeah. all been saying. In it. And you know, thankfully, my parents listened to. It. I told them exactly a month ago yesterday. Yeah. Hey, go out, buy, buy this, this, this. Stock up on this. Have a month's worth of food, a month's worth of this. And really, they listened to me. Thankfully, so they How? they haven't had to do any of the panic buying. Cal Where are they based? Said there's a person uh, in Japan. Not, okay. People come over. <laughs> Yeah, because we, just uh, in case, in just in case people want to come and get, because that's when they know what the supplies are. Um, um, Cal, I've told everyone I've got two bottles of, of rubbing alcohol. <laughs> Cal, Cal said that. There's um, a person but there. sorry, so like, but they're in the UK still. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I. What's up, bud? I just want to show you that. What does it say? It's just Cal talking. I, I was Cal, yeah, that guy in Japan who ignored his quarantine and went to the pubs on purpose, coughing on people. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Maybe, um, maybe those guys should uh, get some help. If you know what I mean. Um, what's that? 2020 predicted military budget lost population 2 million people. What? What? I'm so out of the loop on this on this chat going on here. Military budget predict all that to in the quarter years. Mondo. Um, a prop? Yeah. I mean, this is what, you know, we were talking about the, um, uh, what did you call the Al uh, the R, R not? R not. R not. R not. The thing I thought that really caught my eye, my eye about the R not was just, you can never know the R naught. I thought that was really cool. But there's no such thing as a. There's no definite number for R naught. It's a. It's this a. It's this sort of. This this number you have to that sort of like, you have to sort of figure nebulous. out somehow. In your, nebulous. That's the word. There you go. See, that's why you went to school. Um, <laughs> it's nice to have James here classing this place up a bit. Um, there was a there was a, a a meme that my wife was laughing at because being a Brit, she she sort of got it. And they had the different. How what was limited at different at the different stores in England, you know how sort of Tesco's it was like you know one package of toilet paper and yeah. and one package of, of hand sanitizer sorry, or whatever, oh, and then oh, by oh, the oh, end sorry. of it it had got to got, it had got to Waitrose only one lobster dinner and <laughs> you know like uh, <laughs> um, Your goose, goose fat is the that's it that was it that was the uh, it was the foie gras <laughs> only one only half a pound of foie gras. Um, I mean, look, and that's, again, the other thing that this really points out is the difference between the haves and the have-nots, right? I mean, you see there's Elon Musk up there talking about, like, what's the big deal? It's fine. I'm just going to stay home and catch up on movies. And it's like, yeah, you could do that, Mr. Ivory Tower. But some of us, you know, 
Um, but we're not allowed to sit there and catch up on movies? Oh, no, no, we totally should. That's what we're yeah. going to do. We're doing For me, it's sure. anime. Yeah, yeah. But... but I'm saying that we still have to go out and do, like, we... <gasps> Mom and I still have to earn a living <laughs> in some way, shape, or form. Although, again, you know, it's funny. I was just talking to uh, Let's Talk Science, um, seeing if I can help out with any of their stuff. And it sounds like... I mean, they're in a great situation. Sorry, just so you know, James. Let's Talk Science is this, is this charity that I love that, um, mm. that basically just creates projects to inspire science, technology, engineering, and math in, in, in kids, just to try to get them into the sciences. Okay. And staying there. So you can lock that on your um, device, basically, it. kids like me, Great. who who never, yeah. who, yes, and no one ever made that connection Minor between the fun academia. stuff I was doing outside of school and the stuff that was actually that was that was science and electronics. Um, but uh, so they're all online anyway. So they've got tons of these online resources. So I was thinking that maybe one of the, one of the things I might do for my tech bandits, and thus sort of open it up to everybody, would be to just egg? run through some of their projects, just like just see uh, how yeah. you know what do they like to. I have these great Talk somewhere in here. I have um, okay. these little hydrogen fuel cell cars. What's that? Um, in a tiny bit, I'm uh, we're gonna hatch our egg. Yes. Just so people know our magmaster egg. That okay. We got at the beginning. Everybody, so. ignore the apocalypse. No, we no. Have egg, we... we have egg hatching. Sorry. No, no, no not at all. I was being. It's a I was. Bit complicated. It's complicated. Oh, so okay. people want to learn so... how to do their egg hatching. Yeah. Is that a raccoon on your head? Oh my God! It looked like one of my tech bandit things. Yeah. I was like, I was like, that is, I am, I am That's offended. That's where that person went. <laughs> I am offended that Steel Feathers walking around with a freaking raccoon on their face. Do you have air conditioners going? All right, Pac Bum's um, no. excited about the egg hatching. Sure. Good chunk yeah. of society is one or two paychecks away from a serious financial okay. trouble. This Bertley, that's a really good point. I How think many the thing do you think really I'll need? Kind of freaks me out is Start that two, and we'll go from there. we are now. There is no doubt in my mind so that we are into. Is full-on global recession okay. now. And that's going to be, that. there's no way around that. So that is going to have a huge impact on a lot of people. Um, you know, even just in our industry alone, you know, financing is all based on people with money. And if they don't have the money, they're not going to finance movies. Movies are not filming right now because there's too many people on set. So there's too many people to, that can get, um, uh, that could be uh, could be spreading the virus. Okay. Um, you know, so just in this industry alone, there's a lot of people out of jobs right now. Um, and then you go, okay, I'm not, I'm sort of self-quarantined with the, with the kids and the family. I, I'm like the biggest pig alive. I, I'm eating out two, three times a day sometimes. I don't, I haven't eaten out for like three or four days now. <laughs> um, but, even, but the point being is in going forward, I'm not going to eat out much. I mean, I'm certainly not eating sushi until the world is cleared again. You know? Inside my house? Kill it with fire. <laughs> I think I might do outside just so he doesn't. I don't know whether Trodon's before. talking about the, the the game stream or the virus, but Trodon just says in full caps, "Kill it with fire." Um, that's I think a reference okay. to uh, the thing. Uh, shall I try hatching it? Uh, what do we got here? Off topic, David. We were talking about the Great Britain book series on another stream. Uh, Did you know that there was a movie no? made from the first book? It's on YouTube. I'll grab like two. Free. Oh, the Great the Great Brain book. Oh my God, I used to um, love the Great Brain. Okay, guys, Thank we're you, hatching Zena. now. Oh, hatching. Hatching happening. Hello, peoples, says they eat so once you an hour. Eat it, the hamburgers as much as you can. <laughs> Hello, peoples. You are my peoples. If you're eating that fast, th that much, that's me for sure. Trojorn, yeah, tragic right now. Four, that is something people want. Three, two, two, one. one. Oh, hey! oh, wow. What should I name him? COVID. <laughs> no, maybe not. Uh, uh, first. Name it after. Yeah, Eat it sorry. first, name it, it after. First. Okay, very good. Then you should call it like. Put the ambergris in? You should call it like McKay or something if you have to feed it first. Basically, until it's a juvenile, you're going to have to feed it, hand feed it, ambergris every two minutes. Oh my god, how do you okay. even remember this stuff? That's honey. Yeah. Really? You have to feed it honey? No. Oh. So what I do is I give my nanny honey. Give you, you have a nanny? Oh, is that that creepy woman who just stands there? Oh, creepy eyes. <laughs> She's got the psycho eyes. Oh, wait. I'm going to have to uh, modify. I'm gonna uh, okay, so we need a name. Come on, what's a good name? Options. Change name. Okay, it's a Magmasaur. You can name call it, it Magma. Fever. Uh, what could it's we... ugly. Name it Shepherd. <gasps> it's beautiful. It's it's ugly. Name it Shepherd. Trodorn. Uh, Maggie. Maggie. Is Ma it a it's she? A she. Oh, I should name it Maggie. Maggie's pretty good. Maggie's pretty great, i got to say. Well done. If Mr. I get Deadly a guy, Legion. I want to name it. Hey, Baguette Santa Nielsen, how are ya? What a great name. Baguette Santa Nielsen. <laughs> I, 
Hey, K's, the K's, look into my poorly rendered eyes. Yes, so true, K's. Pack bump. Good one, Zuno. What's Zeno said? What's Zeno Come said? Here. Come here, Maggie. Um, Maggie. Teal. You're in the my ground. My big brown strain wants to call it teal. I have a very hard time saying my big brown strain, I've got to, I've got to say. Which is probably why we get named as such. Spike. Yeah, pack bombs for Maggie, for sure. Is your nanny activated? Disable Wartner. Uh, what? activate my nanny? Yeah, because she'll imprint it for you. Um, you'll notice that I'm not playing right now as well, James. I'm, uh, I, uh, my computer runs a little slow, and, mm. uh, and also I find, uh, I just find all the swirling around makes me a little and nauseous. And she's stuck in the ground. <laughs> I can't, you know. Good job, Maggie. Um, uh, it's been a while since I played, so it's, uh, my, my, all my computers are just a, a built for. Wait, I can only put one thing in her overdrive? Yeah, but surely, oh, okay, that's another, okay, here's a question for you. What do you think about this whole GPU thing, where they use the GPU, so shared GPU, to do the, to um, the, I, the oh, folding? The, the protein folding thing. What's the deal in the protein folding? And actually, sorry, before you do that, I'm just going to say, uh, hello to Baguette Santa Nielsen, because, uh, Wait, they're freaking out that they're should watching one the of my favorite her? actors and his son scream. So, no, hello, no. welcome. It's really not that exciting. Anyway, no, sorry, really yes. Following. So, what is this oh, protein great. folding thing? So, she so trying to work out oh, yeah. I also have... how a protein exists in three dimensional space. Mm. Is, no, is thank you. Really hard. Right. It, it's, it's, one of those, it's one of those problems oh. where it's like, Actually, oh, no, don't worry about your nanny right now. Put it in your coffee fridge. But in reality, it's super difficult. So, it's and basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to because because when these proteins come together they don't necessarily just link up they they twist and fold onto each other and connect in different places and that That's creates it. different shapes and those shapes dictate how they're going to lock into other proteins right is that yeah what close close enough now, yeah. it determines kind of their function it it's such a computer like it's trying to find the lowest entropy state of the system that's how i understand it. again this is this is, mm. this is a little out of but you're trying to find where where the structures can sit within each other and have a low entropy. That's what you expect them to find. But that's not something you can just tell the computer to do. It humans are. We, there was a program before where you'd actually sit down and do this with RNA by eye because humans are really easy, really good at doing this. Like we can kind of see. Oh, if I move that bit here, that might help. But mm. the GPU and CPU thing, just lending people that your computer power and you're not using it. Uh, they, they then turn it into yeah into asking the computer to do do lots of these different arrangements to find which is the lowest uh, lowest entropy state. So boy, I don't even know how you'd even figure that out. So the lowest, how why are we so good at? Like, I wouldn't know where to start. Or is there certain guidelines for the entropy on this thing? I mean, how do you? I, I, I don't know. Yeah, this, again, we've, we've reached the limit of my knowledge. Huh. Well, that's it. Thanks, James. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, kick him out of the kick him out of the chat. Um, uh, that's it. We've we've used him up and we've thrown him away. Um, that's interesting. So, but the idea basically is that in the same way that we were using shared computing for like SETI, which is that yeah, search for extraterrestrial um, intelligence, this would be used to just by brute Any, force eh. try Any, a billion different please. attempts to find out. Thank but what are they trying to fold? They're trying to find. Wait, I don't understand what of the COVID, how that helps with COVID. Oh, um, well, there's a lot of things we don't know about the, the coronaviruses in general. Like, uh, it's, assu it's assumed that they're binding the ACE2 and hip the ACE2 receptor, but we actually don't we know what structure um, those two things fit into each other in. Ah. So a great example is there's an HIV medication, which the, the name is not important, but when HIV attaches to its cell it has which is a virus too it. correct yeah 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 it has two receptors it uses on the cell the cd4 plus cell and uh, receptor sorry and cxcr5 receptor and those have shapes no, no, to them no, 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 no. those have shapes they have they have the proteins that stick out the cell and the virus has proteins that attach to those those things mm. and we i'm going to say we i mean there's people far smarter than that um have designed drugs by knowing how the, the proteins change and fold. So mm. what happens when when the virus lands on the on the on the cell? Mm. Another receptor tries to find another site. Once that binds, a, a little harpoon. It's literally a harpoon mm. system. Fires into the cell, binds that receptor, and then it folds itself back up into. And when it does 
after that folding back of the ball, it, it brings the virus and the host cell close enough that the membranes fuse and the virus RNA goes to it. So it literally like drags itself up, up by its bootstraps onto the surface of the cell. And it does that by folding a protein into a tight ball. Ah. Knowing how that protein folds into that tight ball, we've designed little tiny inhibitors that sit in the, those different like p pivot points so that the protein can't fold. Ah. So knowing those sort of things, knowing how the proteins actually fold and how uh -huh. they work means we could design things to get in the way of the proper folding. Exactly. So you get the way of the proper folding so that it can't, it can no longer make the connection it needs to. Yeah. Um, so is that interferon? Is that why they call it interferon? That, no, that... no. Inter interferon gamma uh, is a completely. Is it okay? All right. So it's not. I just. It's not interfering that way. It's. Uh, I see. Okay. No. That's interesting. So. Yeah. So. Yeah. We'll... Sorry. Go ahead. It's, it's part of your immune system. Oh, the immune system. Yeah, and I've been telling everyone about how the immune system can kill you. Thanks to the last time we chatted. Yeah, um, that's right. <laughs> that's uh, a good takeaway. Yeah. yeah. I, kill you. I like to take away really, you know, I like to take away the biggest horror as of, you know, of all these things. Um, no, I just thought it was fascinating that I, I your, uh, when you were saying like how it could, if it, if your, if your, if your, if your system decided to, to work against you, as I guess it does in, in the situation yeah. with, with AIDS or HIV, um, which I seem, seem to use, uh, I seem to just switch them, uh, but they're obviously, mm -hmm. they're different things, I guess. Um, uh, is that when when it turns on you, it can kill you in an instant. Like the idea of the anaphylactic yeah, shock, exactly. I thought was the thing that you yeah. that you said. Which of course, yeah, it's just just ter which is just terrifying. Yeah, your um, immune system is a is a is a horrible, horrible, aggressive little thing. It's just just borderline kept in check by most people. I keep thinking of those swarms of ants eating a worm. Yeah, like it's just that the way they just it just sort of engulfs every it just it yeah. just just yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, so. uh, if only people could stay home. Yeah, so if we stayed home, if everyone stayed home 15 days, but the problem is everyone has to stay home the same 15 days, kind of, don't they? <laughs> that's, the, that's the biggest issue. Um, and it depends how well people are. Like, look, we have very elderly neighbors, and, um, and unfortunately it's very difficult to communicate with them because, because I believe they speak Mandarin, and, and, uh, and I, I certainly don't. Um, and um, so we do a lot of sort of waving and smiling, and, you know, we... We've been we've been having this war, uh, the, uh, this war of kindness I call it, where Baz and I were shoveling their the, their walkway for them and stuff during s snowstorms because I just worry about how you know they're, I mean look, they 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 seem more frail than me so so I thought we would help them out and um, but then as a result and a little a little uh, a little plan for result was that they um, uh, they've started doing ours, <laughs> so so. <laughs> So I'll like I'll I'll be like having my tea in the morning, just about to send Baz off to school, and there's these poor this poor old woman is out there like staggering around trying to do our walkway. So I've had to get up earlier and earlier every time it snows to try to beat them to it. Um, anyways, so but they've had a lot of visitors of late, and I'm I'm like I I just because they're obviously very susceptible. He smokes, which I, apparently. Apparently, that was one of the big issues in China. Was a lot of the male population, like ninety percent or something, smoked. Ninety percent of the males smoked, and two percent of the women. So that was why they felt they saw more, more uh, higher death rate in um, in men. Um, but uh, but yeah, I just saw a lot of people coming and going, and I'm like, oh my god, like surely this is a you know a concern <laughs> for them, not for me. I'm like I'm worried about them. But I was going to go by and say, this is, we had this big dilemma where I was like, well, I want to go by and I want to give them our phone number and email or whatever they, so if there was any issues or any problems, they could, they could let us know. I don't know how exactly, but at least they could, you know, call us or whatever. But of course, what do you do? Because I didn't feel like going around to their house and handing them a letter, which could very well be the vector that kills them, I felt was a bad, a bad idea. So we were very, we were sort of both delighted to see people show up yesterday because it shows that people are looking out for them. Um... Uh, but then at the same time, I was a bit horrified at how many sort of hugs and kisses and things were going on. So, you know, I guess, uh, I guess I, in a way, one of the saddest things apart about this, uh, illness, I think is if you do get, if you do get it and you do are lucky enough to get hospitalized for it, no one can visit you. Like you can't, you know what I mean? Like there's no, you know, they were talking about like the, on the, on the, um, was it the, this is fantastic podcast called The Daily. If you're into the New York Times, I mean, very liberal, very, you know, I mean, definitely more my my sort of 
my political slant, I suppose. Um, although I, I like to think they're fairly, they're fairly, um, um, well, no, they're definitely, <laughs> they're definitely anti-Trump. Um, but, uh, uh, but I, I think they're pretty good at being, uh, not taking too many sides. Uh, and they see the, they see the, they seem to drill down pretty hard on trying to figure out how, what's truly true and stuff. Um, but they had a whole thing about this and they were saying that, um, that, uh, uh, you know, the problem in Italy is that they've got doctors coming into work and going like, okay, 30 year old woman with three kids, 60 year old male. Okay. Sorry, buddy. You get the ventilator. Um, and you're literally on your own because you can't have, there's no, now I suppose we've, at least we've got online, we've got this kind of stuff, I suppose, where you could be, you've got online chats and stuff. My, my mom is chatting with her, with her brothers all the time on online, which is, I think, great you just couldn't do that before could you and you couldn't even send a letter oh my gosh actually it's true without the internet you what are you gonna do send a letter mm. i mean that's yeah oh, interesting. Knows. and also um what's up just so everyone knows in our game what we are me uh what i'm gonna be trying to do with styles help yes is we're gonna try to tame a giant turtle Ooh, nice how big is these are these giant turtles big enough to build on yeah. what you, you can, can build, build like build a base on it and then no. swim around oh my god that's epic okay very cool uh, try looking into MS Live Translation. Yes, it's true, Groot. It's so funny. We were actually talking about this. Like, maybe I could... Uh, could I write I something in... At your base? Could I write okay. something in another... I'm coming to you. you. know, in Mandarin or whatever to see if they could understand it. Um, Darlin Clementine. We've started oh, limiting our visitors at my source. job. Yeah. I'm sure. I mean, what else do you do? I mean, it's like you can't have people wandering in. And also, you can't trust people to make the right decisions. I don't think they're innately, like, evil... <laughs> I just think that we just make stupid decisions, especially when we're dealing with, like, you know, people will lie, beg, steal, whatever, to go and see their kids if they're sick or their parents or whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, far north in Ocean Base, I found lots of turtles. Ah, yes, very good. I'm thinking Wait, that's referring to the game, right, Kratos? North Ninja Turtles, says Saladin. So she Letter writing is such a lost style, art. Might Ocean be nice to return base. to it. Well, not now, Pac Mom. You don't be sending. Don't be licking those envelopes and sending them around just yet, Pac Mom. Uh, Fygon, how are you? K. Michael, what, 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 do you want to teleport to Prado Project Water so Dino K. Breeder? K. Michael's asking, did I think the virus was manufactured in China? No. Or manufactured I, anywhere? I. They don't need to. I. I right. I mean, like, <laughs> I really, like, honestly, I feel like. There's so much misinformation out there, um, you know. Uh, and look, I'm sure governments have manufactured viruses. I'm sure they have. And then maybe the Chinese, I wouldn't be surprised if the Chinese government has manufactured viruses in the past or whatever, as I'm sure the Americans have, as I'm sure 95. many, I'm sure they've all looked into it in some way, shape, or form, because it's a, obviously we've spent our entire it? civilization has spent its time trying to figure out how to kill each other. Um, mm -hmm. But this one, this one seems pretty clear you know that they're that it came from the wet markets and it's that it's moved to, to humans thanks to the so that, that, that's an argument that maybe it was slightly manufactured in the sense that we we okay. bred it maybe maybe not mm. intentionally but we 100 percent bred these viruses in those markets the same with the um a lot of flus uh, can we you, go when you have you yeah. know live ferrets live birds yeah. live humans all in the same area that that is a breeding ground for a very nasty flu virus um mm. That doesn't have then it doesn't have the intention. You know, our our activities on this planet or like with global warming, like these things have so these viruses become more prolific. Right. Yeah, it was that was yeah, actually a question I was gonna ask. It. Uh, it was actually one of my questions was was like why is this so prevalent now? Or is it just not prevalent? It's just that it's been so rare that we're it's we notice Here. it so much more. Uh, Ruby, do you wanna uh, go into it's uh, private? Probably quite rare. Uh, occurrence to happen, yeah. but it's it's so always it was always go going, going to happen. To happen right? So I'm going to go into a private, and then. So are there certain? I'm assuming there's certain species that are better at jumping, of having viruses jump to. Oh, okay. who's bouncing out? Uh, we're just leaving, so we're going to be able to talk about Ark and not disturb your virus talk. Oh, oh, sorry. Are we are we disturbing you? No, no, not at all, not at all. All right. You're on a separate chat. Uh, so, Stal, what are we gonna yeah. do? We well, wait a second. So, how does it? So, how does this work then? Okay. Baz, how does this work then? This is going to be a bit more difficult just because. Baz, how does it work then? So, we've got two different. Who's hearing what though? Is what I want to know. Stal, 
So they're hearing, oh, they're hearing me. Right. Yeah. So they won't hear my so chat. So they won't know. So we'll they won't hear. Have to they won't hear back. James's yeah. chat. Okay. So okay. sorry. Do you mind going back? Not at all. I'm so sorry, guys. Now, if you want, we could just do like a stream section. You could just do a. Do you, Do you need us to be quiet for for? Uh, no, we, we just have. I don't know how to do this, so we're gonna I'll be, be talking. I'll be honest, David. If I I'll, I need to rush off and, and just. Oh, go! Now. Oh, please don't. Oh, yeah, okay. please don't. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah don't feel. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> want to sound like that. Do voice. not feel obligated in any way. This is totally loosey goosey. Don't like it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, look, J uh, everybody. Thank you to James. Thank you so much. Um, James, I hope we haven't scared you off, because I mean, it'd be nice to just have some. Uh, what I I do intend on doing some of this stuff without the gaming as well, so that I'm not interrupting Baz's gaming, and we can actually have chats without, you know, not that it's not fun to enjoy the odd, very cute, small well, I'm dinosaur. I've been watching this. This is awesome. <laughs> it's a so much, much it's a much more exciting time. backdrop than me waving my arms around talking to you. That's for sure. Um, all right, man. Look, uh, uh, best of luck with all the work, and um, yeah, you. we'll uh, hope to talk to you soon. You. All yeah, right, I'll, I'll chat soon. Thanks, everyone. All right, Thank you for the chat. cheers, everybody. Bye. Good night. Hey. Bye. Now this is this is what you find out. Well, you know what's funny actually, James. Be careful. You may need to actually shut things down because sometimes we yeah. can still hear. Yeah, <laughs> I can I can kick him if it doesn't. Are you gonna oh, kick him? Okay. Sorry. Thanks, guys. All right. Cheers, man. Thank you. Um, uh, such a great guy. I'm I'm so okay. excited to actually be back in touch with him. I feel a little guilty because I feel like we're in, in I'm inundating him with with questions, but at the same time I feel like I probably would have done this anyways because. Um, well, he's just very knowledgeable, very good at explaining. I find he's very good at, at simplifying things enough that I can understand what he's talking about. Um, and also, he's just excited about it. It's always much, it's so much more fun to talk to people about stuff when they're excited about it. And James, James has always had a real, Wait, uh, a are real you fighting passion the for this stuff. So, yeah, um, oh, K. Michael thought this was going to be a watch party. I'm sorry, K. Michael. We will be doing a watch party this month for sure. Oh yeah, we definitely. Because we got to watch the second part, and frankly, everyone's going to be at home anyway, so we should all watch together. <laughs> but I'm sorry to disappoint you, K. Michael. It's not a watch party; it's a geek out party. It's just. It's a dino, dino it's a geek gaming party. party. It's, it's a dino geek party. Um, K. Michael, we won't forgive you if you move on because because it's not uh, it's not uh, directly Stargate related, related. But you're welcome to ask questions if you want. I mean, that's always that. Um, John Fastlane is very excited for the watch party. Saladin, lol, you are always exciting. Or you are always exiting. Sorry. So what are we doing? <laughs> okay. I think so we, there's a I, turtle. Yeah, we need to get in. in. To find a parakeet fish swarm, which kind of wow. hangs out in lower waters. Yeah. And then it'll chase us, and we need to lure the swarm to the turtle instead. And Ooh. then oh. just stick around the turtle, and one of us, yeah. I'm, what I've heard is Sounds that one exciting. of us... Has to kill all the fish around it. That's what that's what I did last time. Is that the um, one of the, whoever was trying to tame the other person stood watch. Huh. And I don't mind standing watch because it's There's a turtle. There's a Oh, down Australian there. lamb. I'm sorry, you gotta go to work. Where are you working? So we gotta find swarm. Lure. Oh, Xenos, the card stream. We haven't done card streaming yet. We haven't done our... Um... I see one. Oh, my gosh. You've just reminded me. I'm so sorry, Zenos. I totally forgot about that. There's oh, God. There's also a Mosasaur and a Chuso down there, too. And hello, and Australia Lama, right? by the way. They're going to try, yeah. Is there a way? Can we, like, run <laughs> away? Kay Michael says there's nothing on TV, so he's glad to have this. Mosasaurs won't swim above a certain height, but Plesiosaurs will, and I don't want to get killed by that. So let's swim away from that. Do you need to lure the fish swarms? Each fish, each swarm spawns one fish. They will try to eat the swarm. So we head out. Mr. Deadly Eugen's got some advice for you on there. So we go for a different one to talk. Pac-Man. pac, -Mom. pac -Mom had a question. David, I have. Okay, fish. there's a shark. How did you find working with the kids on Stargate? Did you really make the kids cry in childhood love? No. The reality is with the kids is that kids love being treated like an adult. And. So I'm just as much of a jerk to them Do as sharks. I am to people, and that they seem to enjoy that. Um, and I'm such a suck that I always Do explain to, to the kids before I treat them horribly on camera that that uh, it's part of the act. So yeah, uh, you know who's great with that was uh, Jodell, because Jodell, I was you You'll know Jodell and I were I attracted were, him were very good me. at trading barbs during our our time together. Oh. So Lenny Zabat, 
Goody for me, almost night. So are you saying, is that a cheerio from you, Zeleny? I was so bored the other day, I watched Cube. Oh, you were that bored, huh, Zenos? <laughs> what do you think? And Baz, tell me if I'm interrupting. No, not at all. You need me to, you need we're me to... just looking around, trying to find an insect. Nope. Not an insect. <laughs> Uh, fish swarm. We're trying to keep K. Michael's attention, even though we don't have a stream, uh, a live stream going on. Uh, I mean, a live uh, viewing. Uh, I'm from Czech, so I am almost going to sleep. Ah, oh, very good. Well, sleep is good. They say. Okay. They say sleep is a good, uh, you know, good way to stand healthy. Waxer, how are you? I was wondering where you could find baryonyx. I'll easily. be in the ocean base. Because Baz, we've got a question for you. Yes. What Does is the question? anybody on the chat know where one can find a baryonyx easily? Uh, Waxer what, is asking. Oh, what server are you on? Are you on ours? Because if it if it if you're on the uh, one we're on, it's a uh, bog, bog all the way. Bog. Breakfast Gaming says bog too. So get berries on bog. What? Oh, I was like, what? What the hell? Berries. I was, I was thinking like uh, whatever it's called. That something mod. Gary's mod. I was thinking Gary's mod. Yes. Okay. So baryonyx at the bog. <laughs> Thank you, Jack, for laughing at mine. Uh, all right. Cube was a pretty great movie, I gotta say. Oh, Saladin, did you see Roma? Did you watch Roma? What else we got here? I saw one, but I got attacked. <laughs> Hello, peoples. I saw one. I got attacked. Baryonyx. That's a great name. Uh, lots in the bog, almost died. Hello Peoples is obviously traumatized by their, their run-in with the Baryonyx. Three different movies of Cube. Saladin, watch the first one, ignore the rest. Uh, Bygone, a dino. I tweeted when we watched it to get a like. And got a like from Nicole, yay! Oh, Nicole DeBoer, I love Nicole DeBoer. I always had the hugest crush on Nicole DeBoer. She's just, she's just an absolutely lovely woman, great actress. Giant eyes. Um, she's got almost like anime eyes. Uh, she's uh, amazing, amazing woman. Lovely, lovely woman. Um, ahem, taking the mic out of David is my job. Really, Cal? You put yourself in danger. She's, she's failing. Yeah, she's not doing a very good job of it today. She, she's being quite nice. That's that I'm sure will 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 uh, stir her ire. Yeah, stir she's gonna her be ire? All... Can you stir an ire? Is she's that... gonna be very yeah. mean now, Dad. Uh, Zeleny, Zeleny Zadek, what you, Rodney, I love your work, but, but I'm guessing, Zeleny, you probably prefer Zelenka, do you not? If you were to take a side between Rodney and Zelenka, it would be Zelenka, wouldn't it? Hey, Flipu, anyone know what mission gives tech leggings? A lot of them. Boss. Bosses, man. Bosses, so it's apparently just, bosses. I it was just bosses. No. Is it? I, 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 got, I, I, I was able to get a tech... Puddle Jumper's it. wondering if maybe Cal's purpose in life is to, is to make me misery. Loot is random, says Mr. Deadly. Well, Deadly. yeah, loot is random, but... Zelenka every day. Sorry, David. That's all right. That's all right. I I like that Zelenka guy, too, from afar, as long as he's not working um, with me. Stel, I'll be right back. I'm just going to check on uh, my... Um, but I don't see Zelenka on Twitch. Mm-hmm. We should see if we can get, we see if we get David Nickel on here. You know I can send you a photo. You want to send me a photo? Depends what the photo's of, Zeleny. Uh, best is Carter and you after. Ha ha banana. Thank you, Saladin. Ha ha banana. Um, you know, Wait, I personally I... wouldn't argue with you about Carter. McKay would have something entirely different to say, and it wouldn't be flagging. My friend's cat is named after Carter. Oh, really? What's yeah, its name? Her cat's name is Sam. Sam Carter. I've had someone named a dog after me, I think. And okay. they named their new baby Daniel after Daniel Jackson and oh. a Okay, that's good. All right. So they've got, they've like got a both a... human baby, not a cat baby. So they've got like a sport and nerd reference as well. That's good. Yeah, yeah. The wife huh. is into Stargate and the uh, husband is into sports. So Baguette Santa Nielsen says that Rodney all the way, but still have Zelenka working with Rodney. Yeah, we were a good combo. I remember the first day that little guy showed up. And uh, the problem was... Uh, basically, the, the writers discovered that they, I couldn't be in two places explaining things at the same uh, time. And there were two different storylines. They needed someone else to come in and, and pick up manage? that slack. And I thought, and uh, uh, David and I ran the scene over and over and over and over again to I get it really good. Coming back to you. Uh, yeah, that's right. Zelenka's, <laughs> Zelenka's, Zelenka's like on a hamster wheel trying to keep our stream going. That's right. 
but you are the best since I could talk to you, David. Ah, oh, Saladin. It's a pleasure. It's not much fun doing the stream if there's no one to talk to. Who are you kidding? McKay was infatuated with Sam. Infatuated? She had the biggest crush on me. Um, Pac Mom. I take no pleasure in it. I'm literally getting paid to make sure his ego does not consume the planet. It's oh, sorry. After this job. <laughs> it's, yeah. There we go. I got it. I'm like the McKay virus. Uh, you know, I love you some like him. I love you some like him. What's this? Is it Lanka stuff? Or what? <laughs> Pac Mom, don't. Ooh. Don't give her any reason to keep. What is it? Hot shot. Don't promote her. Don't uh, provoke her. Don't. Oh, I don't know. What's the word I'm looking for? I'm beginning to feel like maybe I need lunch. David, who is your favorite actor to work with as the Atlantis commander? Tori Higginson, Amanda Tapping, and Robert Picardo. Look, I love them all. Um, uh, yeah, as the Atlantis commander. I guess I'm here. I don't know. Picardo is just. I, 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 Picardo just makes me laugh yeah, all I found the time. Yeah, um, Oh, she's uh, gonna die. Amanda Tapping well, was fantastic, no. but I preferred Amanda Tapping in the field. Like I liked being out on missions with Amanda Tapping. That was that was that was the funnest stuff. Um, it's okay, buddy. And uh, and Tori's just lovely. You. I mean, it's it's kind of hard to pick. The, no, it's like, no, did not you know, that. do I have to choose? Do I have to choose a favorite? Can't I just have them all like we did? Uh, the guys with the Avenger thing. Don't take What's the Avenger thing? Entice. Oh. Is it yes, entice back the, then? The it's the like. Scientists. They're after you. What's this? Yeah, they're after me. It's fine. What, the Avengers are after you? Well, now I'm so confused. Oh, no. no so is the match with them. Oh, yes. The scientists. That, yes. Like, yeah. Of course. Sorry, Don. Um, oh, you're good. See, once again, Ruby K. Ruby K should just get, like, you should be, like, a moderator. Like, you should get, like, a like a, a job just as a moderator on this. Because you're, so. you, you, you drift between the worlds so well. I'm not paying attention to the chat at all. Uh, to the actual, to like, to the, 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 the stream chat? No. I'm just listening to what you're saying. Oh, okay. Right, very good. Uh, that's fine. I've got, I need a job. I need something to do here. <laughs> uh, have you thought about a live YouTube feed? I mean, I could, but I, I feel like Twitch is just so much, I mean, dare I say it, better set up for the stuff. I mean, what do you think? What do yeah. you think? Oh, yeah. my God. Be careful that much Okay, so here's what I had to do on set the other day. I had to go down, he's not, he's like this, <laughs> and I had to do stuff, and I had to get up, and... And I did that so many times, I can't freaking move anymore. <laughs> but you know you're old when, you're, Ooh, when your legs ache so much just from just Could from I kneeling and getting over? up again that many times. Yeah, can. Encourage. Okay, Don't encourage water. her. Thank you, Pac Mom. Did you have to hit the thesaurus for that? I some days words they're hard. Uh, Megalodon. Yeah, yeah. For I'm me, I like interacting over Twitch. Yeah, me too. Uh, John Fastlane. Saladin. Wait, I see swarm? every so oh, often. Right. Yeah. I mean, the convention circuit's the best place to see most Come of those actors. Um, uh, David Nickel and I will often hook Spyglass, up when he's in town. Your awesome Spyglass? Uh, who else do I see? You? So you can swim away. I mean, Turn mainly on? social media, honestly. Yeah, I leave it like that because it'll say it, uh, a swarm. Has, there you go. Now swim away. Oh, swimming, swimming towards the turtle. This sounds very intense. Where's the turtle? Where's the turtle? And you're gonna have to like go back and forth a few times. Just yeah, I lost it. Yeah. Looks very complicated. All right, what do we got? Uh, hey, you've shaven. Please, can you take down your glasses? What? For a sec. What? Keep going. Nope, Please nope. take down your glasses for a sec. What? You want to see? You want to see my Newmans? Is that it? Uh, I need the glasses to read though. Is the problem? Well, to read, to walk, to interact with the world, that kind of stuff. I've shaved, uh, and I've, I've got like a little, I would call it, uh, it's kind of like a Nazi mustache. Now. It's kind of a horrible, <laughs> like uptight kind of little mustache. Um, it's literally based on a photo of a, like a 1940s German something or another. They, they sat there with this, with this horrible photo of this guy, and they would sort of like hack away at my beard until they had it the right, the right way. But of course, they got to do it all over again in two weeks or four months or ten years or whatever. Swim, swim. You know, whenever the population settled down with their viruses. There you go, uh, Zeleni. Did you get that? Uh, did you get enough uh, enough time? They lost you. Uh, it's small think on Rodney. Zeleni Ironham, not it's small think on Rodney. The Hello, people says I've been trying to get a thesaurus. I know where one is, but I don't know how to get it. Oh, a thesaurus. I thought you meant a thesaurus. I was like, it's online, isn't it? So sorry. sorry. <laughs> 
Thiosaurus. I got too many conversations going on. Uh, whew, I know you are Superman, and it's kind of true. Uh, dance, monkey, dance. Thanks, Cal. Thank you. Thank you for quoting my own lines back at me. Uh, Phygon, do you... Is it Baz, targeted at you? Baz, they're asking... Um, Baz, Phygon's asking if you want to do Iron Sky 3. What do you think of that? What's Iron Sky 3? I don't know anything about it. What's Iron Sky 3? Now the filming's on hold, is Jane going to let you keep the mustache? Oh, Pac-Mom. Uh, I'm clinging to this. I, like, I, this is, I have to it's keep saying, you. I have to keep bringing up, raising the specter of, uh, of, of Guillermo. To, to, she's trying to get me to shave this all the time. Is there any chance you get an invite to the Comic-Con in, in the Czech yeah. Republic, you would accept it? Zeleni, I told, I, I have been invited numerous times. It has never worked for timing. And honestly, right now, I'm worried about conventions. Like, I don't even know whether they're going to, I don't know whether we're going to have conventions. I, I'm signed up for two this year. And I'm I'm concerned about both of them, frankly. I mean, it's up to them to make those decisions, but you know. Oh, oh, that's it—the Nazis on the Moon movie. Cal, well done. Baz, go up and get on your boss doctor. We're gonna run this damn. We should totally watch that, Baz. It's like a it's like a bad sci-fi movie about Nazis living on the moon. It oh, could be kind of fun. Okay. Yeah. Let your stamina come back. Australian Llama says the mustache is you. I kind of like it. It's yeah, it's re it's slimming. I think it's slimming. Uh, the mustache is your COVID mask. You know, I don't know. It's more like the COVID trap. That was, I can't get over, I feel very, very lucky. I feel very, very lucky in doing what I do because I feel like ha being able to have someone like James okay. join us on a chat like this, there's very, very Open few professions again. or people who, could, yeah. who that could happen to. I feel very, I'm here. yeah, I feel very fortunate. I very, very much appreciate him doing that. Uh, bad movie stream would be fun. Oh yeah, it's true. Fast lane, fat fingers on the iPad <laughs> from Australian Can Mama. Can I punch it? I don't know if that works. Uh, Hello Peoples got knocked out. Knocked out of this. I can't even say it. Therazinosaurus. Oh, is it after you? A Therazinosaurus, like four it. times. Put a thousand berries. Still didn't work. Uh, Xenos misses the porn stash. It's true. It's true. That was a. That was epic. You know, maybe I'll grow that back out again. Make them make them shave it again. You know what, though? This one's much... I The weird thing with that big, stashy one was that it was getting in the way and that I, fe I felt it. I was, it was a presence. Me, um, and I found, like, I, you know, I wasn't, uh, you know, I wasn't giving Jane the little, the little, the little pecks on the cheek and stuff that I used to because there was just, it was like attacking her with a Velcro. Karim says the facial hair is aging. Stop, Look, I got news for you, Karim. Every, at this point for me, everything is aging. Just start getting a webcam. Is real model or is it just any mod? Aha! Zeleni has noticed our sexy Stargate. You? This is a 3D print, Zeleni. Um, and uh, it's not even a complete 3D print. But I've just literally glued it into place and added some LEDs. I'm quite proud of it. I quite like it. But I'm... I Actually, talk about what... Someone was asking what my next print would be. I think I'm going to print... Uh, I want to print that rotating, the rotating disc. I'm going to measure it, see, find the right dimensions for it, and uh, I'm going to do one that'll, that'll spin. And one of the things that I had planned for today, which of course I didn't do because I'm too busy chatting, as always, uh, I've got all this tech, all these little bits of tech that I pulled for printers and stuff, like some really nice little it's steppers and things. Uh, like, check this baby out. Like, that is a really nice... Really nice stepper here. Look at that. From uh, from one of the old printers that we that we got from my geek trash, my geek trash running. Oh no! I just don't know how to identify them. I wonder. I'm out. Figure out what the voltage is and stuff on these things. Um, but yeah, like you know, th this is the beauty about I, people just throw printers out. There's so much great stuff in printers to use or reuse. Um, and, uh, and I'm, uh, yeah, so that's what I do. Geek trash. I go traveling around trying to find stuff. So I've got a whole box of stuff to play with here. Oh, look at that. I put the, huh, I put the extender on. I can actually hear what's going on as well. Uh, so lots of cogs and gears and another great motor there. This one, it's got a, I like the sounds of, it's, it's Jack's not I, getting any, vo any voice me, time in, but he's but got I'm lots of his, in his action noises. Jack, are you on the, uh, are you in the game as well with me? 
Uh, not anymore. Oh no, you're just you're just hanging out. Uh, my game. <laughs> oh no, really? Oh, so you were playing, but you were with. Them. I'm gonna go find another swarm and also try to Um, oh, hey uh, Jack, what are you? Uh, are a, you gonna do another? Sure. Uh, are you gonna be doing a stream oh, for um, uh, another design stream at some point? Oh, of course. Um. No, uh, no, I did not get caught in it I'll again. Have to, uh, I'll have to, uh, you know, crash it at some point. Come in and uh, and uh, we'll be, maybe we can chat about uh, I don't know COVID themed icons or something like little little raccoons with masks or something with with well, ninety five. I have, I have uh, free emotes. Uh, oh wait a second, we haven't. Uh, have we not installed them yet? No, no. Uh, I think uh, you need to uh, replace the uh, tech bandits one, the the raccoon one. Yes. But uh, you get three more modlots, and well, do, I, do you not have? You're welcome to go in and add them. I mean, if you do, you do not have uh, access I've to that. I've not uh, drawn them. I just sketched them. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, diamond. all right. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought oh, you were saying that they me? were. So we've got three more spaces. We just need to. Um, we just need yeah, to uh, to, oh, to do the to get you to design stuff. Is it? Identify by physical My size. Ideas were. Where is it now? Uh, Any mod with a plague mask. Right. From a plague vector. <laughs> Right, so we yeah. thought. So, well, I'll throw this out to the stream so people can people can decide on it as well. So we're looking. We're talking about possibly some new emotes, and of course, Jack Jasper once again is being incredibly generous and offering to do them. Um, but uh, we've uh, we're talking about so possibly the raccoon, but with a face mask, because we thought that yes. was kind of appropriate. Um, I already sketched that. And he's you already sketched that. Do you want? Can you yeah. share? Can you put it on the stream? Is that possible? I can. Hey, Chef, Mc Chef McTastic, welcome. Welcome, Chef McTastic. Uh, Come on, target me. God Lothos is in the lobby, by the way, whoever that may be. Thank you, uh, Chef Matic. Yeah, thank you, Chef McTastic. Uh, Pac oh, Pac oh, Pac Mom, I'm work. dying, says Karen. I hope that's not for real. Um, you'll see if I obtain them down to the old. Is it on it's you? so hard to keep track. Hello, it's me, Paula. How are you? Welcome. Welcome to our little stream of joy. Our little ADHD stream, as we call it. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's are me in the chat. That's my... That's the, the account of my mother. <laughs> what? I, 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 what is I it? Your... Wait. And, uh, Your and it's me, Paula? Uh, no, no. Uh, Paul Jim Cook. That's, that's my... That's the second account. The link in the chat. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. All right. Very good. Yes. Okay. That's Paul... Yeah. All right, I was like, look at all these people. These days. Hello, Paul. <laughs> uh, all right, so that is the link here. If anyone wants to look and see what he's up to. Oh, it's got the old plague mask on. <gasps> that is pretty epic. Have you seen that one, Baz? Mm -hmm. Baz? Yeah, I just saw it. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, that is really cool. So it's like the old, it's like that old, creepy old sort of crow-like mask that they put on. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Hey, David, do you want some HFC network devices? I don't know what those are. <laughs> yes? <laughs> I don't know what they are. Um, yeah, Baz is rather engrossed in the game, it's true. With laughter, David, as far as I know, I'm healthy. Very Sorry, good. Sorry, I am engrossed in the game. I'm just trying. Chef McTastic. Lots of little raccoons. So imagine those little raccoons with, like, a plague mask on. What about just, like, a like one of those N95 masks? Like, one of those, like, you know, like those medical mask things? Yeah. I like to play Dr. Mask, though. I like to play Dr. Mask, too, it's true. Because it's not quite so on the nose, so to say, so to speak. <laughs> oh, my God. As I said it. Uh, in Canada, somewhere? Uh, whoo, thanks. Good as far... far what, what the heck? Saladin, what's going on? Eat me. Uh, Come on. Like yeah. the children are saying, Attack I my me. mommy. In Canada, look up HFC tap. All right. And they can be do homework. Or you know, even one of the things that Baz and I were going to look up was uh, about Czech and yes. Czechoslovakia yeah, and the whole we're history of that. Ones. Because um, you're not even tamed yet, but you're on Maxwell's, and I want, I want you. HFC tap, like a coax tap. Come here, Maxwell. Well, I don't even know what that means. Like, I don't know what you use it for. It's so close. But so far. So I'm reading about oh, HFC. is it targeting you? No. So we have the the our internet right comes there. in. You're uh, right there. 
over Can the phone right lines. Here. We used to have coax, Same. but we found Rogers was a freaking disaster. Try to, try to, the storm with me. to be fair, they're both disasters, but they were particularly disastrous. Hmm. And then, what was the last idea? The last idea was a gas thingy mode. Yeah. But yeah. should we Stealth. do the. Or, or a lurk emote. Uh, Anti lurk emote, yes. And What's a lurk emote? So it's like <laughs> somebody's lurking. I will show you. I'll post one I will show now. you. Oh, Discord. I can't figure out the damn Discord. I find things like a year later that I'm supposed to like, I'm having a conversation with someone and something a year later I discover like, oh, they said something. I suck at Discord. I gotta get better at this. I post something in general chat. Oh, fine. Does that mean I have to leave here to go to general chat room? Oh, yeah. No, no. I gonna post the, the chat. You know, you say it like I know what I'm talking about. The, the chat channel. Does that mean I've left the chat now? Yeah, n n <laughs> not just general. Uh, it's uh, oh, it's, it's just targeting on the chat me on the top. It's it's uh, way more up. Way more up. It's under community and then chat. Okay, community chat. Got it. So I click that, but that keeps me no, in the eye. No, no, no! It targeted me and then stopped. Okay, what do we got? Ooh, what's that? Ooh, there's all sorts of things I've missed here. Ooh. Okay, what's going on click there? Click the hashtag chat. Yep, I'm there. There's no need to sound grumpy. <laughs> um, all right, what do we got? Come on, turtle. What Come is that? Come over here, turtle. Is that it? Style, try what to target it thing? again because it usually it's takes so a creepy. while for it to target you. It's so small, I can hardly see it. I'm too blind for this. What is? I I can't see what it is. Is it? It's like a little lurking squirrel or something. My, mine is a little lurking cat monster thing. So it's just like, it's basically one of those, what would they call it? Uh, a Leroy? A Kilroy? Leroy. You know that little, like... Yeah. Yeah. Enthusiast. Okay, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. But so lurk, so that just means like you're not a part, you're just like you're watching rather than being yeah. at yeah, you're like, I'm watching you. Fygon wants Stargate emotes. There's a surprise. Hey. Oh, the storm is the worst. Oh, that's great, Jack. Oh, is it? That's the sketch. That's fantastic. Nope, it's gone away. Although there's something kind of fun about, you know, there is something fun about just the eyes. Come that here, sort of classic, Come here, just the eyes off the top. You know what I mean? Although you don't see his nose, then we, yeah, we, yeah, you know what? You're right. Forget it. Ignore me. Do you want me to punch it and then I, bring it over to you? I, I take my instincts and then I ignore them. Uh, Stargate emote. So try it. Uh, it's how targeting me right now. Is there a Stargate emote that we could? I mean, do? Um, do you punch the. I guess. Oh. Turtle and make it come over here. It's so hard to get that kind of detail in such a small image, if that makes sense. Yeah. How would um, we include a Stargate or Stargate? Uh, no, style. I, know. I think I might need to go back to check on my baby right now. You know, you could put like a you could put like a I'll ZBM right in the front back. and then have the lurk just peering around the outside. But even that, it's so much. There's so much to get in a tiny little emote. I think maybe yeah. we should. I think we could just we've Wait, got a I'll we've got a Stargate in our stream. We got a you? literally got a lit Stargate in our stream. I think that's you know that should I do mean, us. I mean, we have to we have a set PM emote, but yes. Sometimes yeah. hearing David's conversation into trying with Baz's is funny. <laughs> it's so true. That's what I'm saying, Pac-Man. It's like it's like total ADHD stream. This is like, you know, you think you hear voices. <laughs> this is the stream to watch. <laughs> Got the turtle aggroed on me. We'll try that. There you go. See turtles and and turtle. mental health all the same in the same breath. Um, I think the problem with an emote like the ZPM is that there's not no actual emotion behind it. Yeah. So you, you don't really have a reason to use it in chat. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, I yeah. I think I think you're right. It needs to it needs to somehow relate to. At least relate to some kind of a of, a, of an emotion or, or some kind of a of a like oh I'm gonna just I'm away from the keyboard or I'm whatever. Um, I mean I suppose you could put a DHD out do if you're heading out or something like that. Um, you know what I mean? But but uh, I think we're pushing for it. Nah, I think we're good. You know what? We'll just make sure that it, you know if that if that's something of interest to people, maybe if Jack doesn't mind, we can do some like specific Stargate art stuff or something. But I can I can I don't know. Yeah. Sign off on or something. I don't know. Help. Uh, yeah. Because he'll start swimming around once. 
Well, at least we have Chevron's this. Subscription <laughs> badges. <laughs> Get this. So Pretos Gaming just says, my wife just called me. Uh, she's at work. She's coughing her brains out. I told her to just stay at work for two weeks and don't come home. <laughs> <laughs> Pretos, you are so single. Um, John Fastlane, put a GDO. GDO. A GDO for when you for when you leave. Um, oh, is it targeted you? Would it be possible to put a gecko in one of the original, if unflattering, Atlantis uniforms? Yeah, I guess the uniform. I think you've already Sorry, done some Sal, uniform I'm stuff. I'm really worried you? about my baby. I like that Karem already knows that I don't like the original Stargate outfit. The, the, the I called them the paper bag on a stick because there was like <laughs> it was that the color was terrible, the shape was terrible. I they just the I, you know my favorite designer right came in. I think yeah. I can't remember like second or third season, and uh, she just did such a be such a better job of like tailoring things because god knows i don't need help looking fat on film mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. and they also used to have i don't know they used to have problems with getting them built like the uniforms built like you'd go in for like a you'd go in for like a a fitting and then you'd get on set and then new uniform would be there you'd be like great you put on the new uniform it'd be like you can't get it past here because they're too tight um. and and then um and i was like am i getting like is it me getting fat or um, but it was just they had whoever they had designing uh, not designing they were actually b doing the builds I, I guess yeah. there was some there was a lack of communication somewhere maybe it was a inches versus uh, you know metric thing style should I ask if anyone else would like to help us oh really yeah, do you need if anybody wants to have any ideas does anyone else want to jump on what's the, what is the question what is the like issue like Kratos I know you have it um, does anyone want to jump on uh, you mean you want them in the stream with you uh, like on the server with you oh it didn't have to be that but just if anyone would like to help with that. help with the maxillon taming ah i see I think, where, where's, where'd the people go? why aren't there iron ham emotes because who cares about iron ham <laughs> <laughs> it's a good point i guess we should we should really to be fair everyone should know that the only reason why i'm on here is because my son made me do it i was very nervous about this whole live stream thing because um, I think I'm very interesting, but I'm not. I wasn't sure that anyone else would. So, um, so that could, uh, yeah. Wow, terrible parenting. Cal, how do we mute Cal? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, boy. Um, hey, Cal. I noticed you're not on the uh, on the arc stream. What are you doing besides irritating me? How about a dodo king emote? <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, it's the dodo would certainly go with the uh, with the arc stuff. Get some behemoth gates. Thank you for the that. thing about the Iron Ham logo is that it, I think it, it came really late. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For for a long time, also on the Discord, I had just the text logo, and I think the the actual Iron Ham logo design isn't that old yet. It's so great. I so freaking love it. Any yeah. <laughs> Thank you. No, it's great. It's absolutely fantastic. Well, so maybe instead of doing like tech bandit uh, emotes, maybe we do the same. Maybe do the same design thing, but with um, some of the same design stuff, but with the with Iron Ham instead. I mean, I look. I don't. I don't. I don't want to hog it for sure. I mean, I totally want to hog it, but uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't have to hog it. I'm hogging it just with the sheer amount of speaking that I do. <laughs> now, and a question to people: Do you is this okay for people? Because the reality is, I used to play with Baz, and I would love to play with Baz. I love playing with Baz, um, uh, but Arc is not really conducive for that for me because I'm just not. I don't have. I don't have the skills for that. I guess I. I suppose I could. I just quite like this combination of being able to sort of have the gaming going on and chatting. And then, as I say, I'd, I'd like to do some, some ones, not without Baz, but ones that are more specific to maybe the Tech Bandit stuff or even just, you know, some, as I say, maybe some builds or some DIY stuff. Maybe I'll even do some of this. Uh, this is the Tecla thing. This is this um, assistive tech that allows people with sort of severe physical disabilities to use iPads and iPhones and that kind of stuff. So I'd love to get that up and running. I've been, that's been kicking around for ages. 
Um, I keep meaning to get to it once I've tidied up the space, and of course I haven't tidied up the space. Uh, you are a catty thing, ha ha ha. Oh, what's oh, Cal said me? now? Oh, Pac-Man loves this combination. Okay. Mr. Dead the Eugen says, you do you. It's all fun. Oh, our, our, I'm assuming our end. Bertley, half Iron Ham, half McKay. Oh my god. And I get like a timer. Play No Man's Sky. <laughs> Australian Llama wants us to play No Man's Sky. You are better in 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 chatty. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> like, don't play games. It's not it's not your it's not your forte. A couple eels over by the uh, we, were, kill them. we were getting yeah, okay. Yeah, that's at, what I was gonna say. I, I was getting uh, I was getting Fortnite down pretty good. I thought. Sure. Monica Lake's enjoying this. Very good. Thank you, Monica. If you can't do bandits, then we can be your outlet. Oh, thank you, Backman. Uh, War Pig. What a great name. War Pig. Yeah, Ark is not Dad's thing. It's look. It's not that I don't love it. I absolutely love it. But I am. It's like uh, think of me like. What would happen if you put McKay in the Ark situation? That's exactly what happened. You would I, panic the entire time. I'd panic and get eaten by the first thing that saw me. And talk about how the dinosaurs aren't possible. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. I am not signing this non-disclosure. Um, all right. He would destroy three quarters of the world. Okay, Phygon, you're also banned. Um, Karim, yes. You were great in Sea of Thieves. Oh. Sea of Thieves, I was okay at. It's true. Although yeah, I did get he sick from that too. We should try Sea of Thieves. We should again. go back. You're the one who's making me doing the whole arc thing. You're the I one obsessed wanna, with arc. Yeah, I love. You know what I miss? I'll tell you what I miss. Minecraft. I would love to go back to Minecraft again. <laughs> that's a good point, David. I, that's I all I'm saying. Email about that. <laughs> Did you really? Oh yeah, God. today. <laughs> really? About about Minecraft? Yes. <laughs> I'd love to do Minecraft because Minecraft's just I don't know. Baz, what do you think about Minecraft? Maybe I'll be by myself. Cal says you'll always be my favorite sniper, David. Oh, Cal. <laughs> Wait a sec. Always be your favorite sniper, like if I'm trying to shoot you, you mean? Because I never hit anything, or what do you uh, like? What do you say? There's, there's, there's no way stop. that was a compliment. This uh, should I get get four BM updates? I find the coronavirus updates here much more palatable than the local and then news. Just drag <laughs> okay, just to be very clear, we are yeah. not your source of coronavirus news. I'm happy to talk about it, John Fastlane, but but do not take my advice. This is purely. Well, what do you mean? I'm finding out about it as well. What you do is you put the turtles around the the, tur the gates around the turtles, mm -hmm. and then it gets kept in one place, and it's a little easier to lure swarms over. Yeah. So, do you, you want me to? If you're on luring that, I'll go get um, I'll go make some gates. Oh great. Pac Mom was saying like uh, that when I asked about Minecraft, there's like crickets from Baz. Nothing. <laughs> no, I want to play Minecraft. Yes, Zenith. Uh, but then I, oh God, I started I started writing an email back to you and then got distracted. Um, uh, look, I would love to get that stuff. Part of, part of the problem, though, is I don't know how to do it without, you know, being, you know, turning into a, into a coronavirus vector. Um, so I wonder if maybe we should wait, or, I, look, I don't know what to suggest, because I'm, I feel like so bad that, okay, so let me just see if I can get, uh, let me scroll back up again here. So, um, so just so people know what the heck I'm talking about. Uh, so... Azenis has been very, very, very kind. Um, I believe, Azenis, were you responsible for the whole server thing as well? I believe so. I think that was Sir Go. Who runs the server. Yes. Okay, so Azenis runs the server, has also uh, offered to uh, to get us a bunch of actual, like the actual hardware for my bandits to play with. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to set them up and have the bandits try to hack into them. Um, you know, because just, you know, it'd be something that might be fun. Uh, but my concern, of course, now is whether... I should be getting together with people or not. Um, so at the very least, Azinas, we should uh, we should chat. Um, I'm wondering if I mean, do you want to? I mean, you're welcome to jump on the on the Discord with us if you want. Um, if you want to do this, if you don't mind doing it publicly. Uh, if not, then we should just chat in general um, because I would love to get that stuff off you. I don't want to. I really don't want to come across like I'm I'm being um, an ingrate in any way. I just uh, I just it's just. I'm obviously a little concerned about like meeting new people. <laughs> now is just not the best. I feel like now is not the best time to like go out and say hi to people and you know. Uh, Brindos over here. Azenus is Sargonos. What? Yeah. Azenus is Sargonos. That's his um. Hello, Zenos. Name in game. 
Oh, I see. I see. Oh, very good. Very good. Sorry. See, you know, us on the outside, peering in at the world of art, it's very difficult for us. Uh, and K. Michael says, David doesn't read his emails. I am terrible at my emails. I get the most ridiculous number of emails. And I have, I don't know if anyone's noticed or not, I have a, a, a somewhat limited attention span. I, I, I tend to be a little easily distracted. And things, I, like, I think I'm literally, if I open this now, I will probably find an email that I was about to send to... That is not their response. All right, so there you message. go. Drafts. I'm sorry. Here we go. I like right here. Draft, Tech Bandit Server sorry, and Administration. I'm very there you go. Focus on this. Polygon stall is not from Germany. Tech Bandit Server and Monitor Donation. It's literally the top of my drafts thing, and I started to get back to you, and I haven't finished it. I apologize. I could join the stream. Are you on Iron Hand Discord? I am on Iron Hand Discord, I believe. Iron Hand PV Discord. Yes, and we are in the. Did someone get, did someone drag Ibrek, him Ibrek, thank you so much for the nine month streak. Hey, Ibrek. Hello, Ibrek. Ibrek's back. Everybody. How goes it, Ibrek? How goes the 3D gaming design stuff? You've got, he's got all sorts of stuff going on. Those, those, uh, Ibrek and, and his, his crew has got uh, amazing bunch of stuff going on. Well, this is great. So we actually get to talk to uh, Zenus as well. I don't want to mention his he's, real he's name. He's a good person. Oh, is he? Oh, good. Good human being. Yes, I play with him all the time. Oh, fantastic. Okay, sorry, Ruby right Remind back. me, where I'm are you based? I'm lure. I'm in Canada. You're in Canada too, right? Okay, good. I can't keep track of everybody. This is too many. <laughs> too many. Um, are you local Canada? Are you like Toronto Canada? Or is that too personal? Is that too specific? Me? A, qu a question. Yeah. No, I'm in Vancouver. Vancouver, right. Okay, got it. We were chatting about Kitsilano and stuff. Today. Ah, that's right. Okay, very good. It's like talking to an old person, isn't it? <laughs> it's kind of like talking to a grandparent. It's like, huh, you look just like your mother. Um, <laughs> yeah, easily confused. Uh, this is the problem with the whole uh, split focus uh, uh, chat thing. Next thing you know, I'll be asking you about autothenos. It's funny, it's one of the things, one of the few times that I've got grumpy, well, I should, let me rephrase that. One of the many times that I've got grumpy um, at conventions was, was someone was very, very offended that I didn't recognize them from other conventions. And I just said, look, I'm so sorry. I recognize everybody. I just can't, I can't remember where, like it's, I think Jack Nicholson said that actors meet more people in a year than most people meet in their entire lives. I thought that was really interesting, and probably why we're the greatest vector for coronavirus nineteen. It's probably your best vector too. Um, have we got? Uh, I was gonna say I'm working here? on the stone gateway badge. I just I'm a, a short stone, so I'm getting some. Um, Azinas, how are you doing? I think the channel hidden. I don't see the voice channel in Discord. Baz. Yeah, one of you has to drag him into it. I think. Oh yeah. I don't see him even in the list though, like anywhere. Uh, join general. Okay, so join the general chat, and then <laughs> uh, my Jack lovely assistant Lundle. will drag you in. Hey, folks, bad news in scoop. Please don't, what? School is closed for a minute and four, two to four months? What? All kids pass automatically to the next step? What? They're automatically graduating people? Oh, please tell me that's not true. Please tell me, Saladin, that this is yet to be verified because that sounds like a nightmare have we got a zenith yet so i don't uh, see him he's working on it there you go he just joined general all right there you go oh he's there go i see him hello self-muted there we go, he, self -muted. There we go. maybe i should uh, people think i should he's self -mute here more. hello right. hey. hey how you doing not bad how are you guys very good very good now i'll just call you a zenith we'll just stick to that <laughs> sure <laughs> okay right whatever i don't know how secret people are about this because my name's not really David. Um, <laughs> uh, so welcome. Oh, we're getting a double back on your... Oh, I think you've I, got... There you go, I just muted I, that. I feel like we really are doing live radio. Can you turn the radio down in the back? <laughs> um, it took me forever to realize what my echo was. It was because I'd be doing exactly the same thing. So, um, so Zenith, look, first off, thank you so much. I am sorry that it's taken, like, what is it, like, what are we at, like, month six now? 
<laughs> of going back and forth. Yeah, it's been a while, but I'm sure, you know, everybody's busy. You got like a lot of extra characters that you do. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a I've got a lot of lack of focus to deal with. Um, uh, so how are things? Because you normally you would be doing a fair amount of traveling, right? Yeah, I, um, all of my company made it uh, mandatory for everybody to work from home now, huh. and uh, they cut all travel. So, wow, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so what? So what does that mean then? So like, uh, what like? So what specific? I mean, not specifically the company, perhaps, or whatever you want to share. But what? What's the sort of the nature of business and stuff? Just so everyone knows. Oh, it's um, it's software consulting for HR, human resource software for um, mainly U.S. government. Oh, cool. Yeah, so you don't generally, it's probably a bad idea to go and infect the, the U.S. government at this point. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they'd uh, appreciate that. <laughs> but so U.S. government stuff, but but still you're, but, but the company's based out of Toronto or just or just you? Um, I'm based out of Toronto. Uh, the company was originally based in Canada, and then recently, about a year ago, we got bought by an American company. Ah. Uh, much larger company. Very good. And uh, they're just, you know, continuing on with uh, what we did and expanding it with their larger resources. <laughs> huh. Um, uh, well, that's, that's kind of, and have you enjoyed that? Is that like a good thing for you? Is that being a positive thing? Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, I love meeting people. So, you know, I right. get to meet all sorts of people, different kinds of, you know, federal, state government, counties, cities, all that wow. kind of stuff. So now, did you, people out there. did you have to do a little research to figure out the American system versus the Canadian system? Because it is, you know, they have like different names for everything and seem to, like we seem to, for some reason, we seem to be sort of stuck in the, in the old British government system as opposed to the American one. This, 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 just, they're not always the same, the way it's set up. Yeah, that took some getting used to. It's I started originally doing what I do for like Canadian stuff yeah. and then, uh, moved to the U U.S. stuff. Yeah. It's very different. Even it really is, isn't it? There's no T4s. They're called W2s. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, because we went through all of that moving from Canada to the States and then, of course, back, back again just to make everyone's life misery. Um, uh, and I couldn't get over how – well, first off, the thing I couldn't get over was moving to the States and you have no credit. So it doesn't matter how it doesn't matter that I you know that I'm a that I, at the time I was like a thirty year old with with years and years of like sixteen years of credit. Um, it didn't count because it was Canadian credit versus the Amer there was nothing in America for them to to, to, to sort of prove my worth. Um, yeah, <laughs> but you're not well, based there. You're just traveling. American credit cards. Americans always have the best credit cards too, like the best rewards on those credit cards. Yeah, <laughs> we can't get those. <laughs> well, the, what's funny is we've actually kept an address in the states. For that exact reason, because we just didn't want to give away all of it. We have bank accounts, we have all sorts of stuff that we just didn't want to mess with, so we just used that. Well, we still we still vote in the states, right? Because we're allowed to vote, and you vote in the last state you lived in. So so we vote in the California election. So um, in fact, Jane and I have like a date night whenever we whenever there's an election, we sit down and we we cozy up with like a cup of tea or something, and our internet and our internet connections and, uh, and our, our laptops and stuff. Oh, and we'll go through the whole the whole thing, talking about each one and who we think we should vote for. And it's, uh, it's great. It's, I, actually, we actually, I quite enjoy voting now. Um, you know, yeah, it's um, yeah, a, little more, a little more fun that way. So, okay, so you're... So you mentioned you went to California before because out of all the states that I've traveled to and met all the different kinds of people, yeah. every kind of state has their own culture. I find California is the most, like, Canadian version of the states than any other state has been to. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? It's, it's, um, it, it definitely, it's, it, you wouldn't think it would be such a different culture, but in many places it is it very, very different. The what the thing that I found the hardest, I think, to get used to was, uh, I just stopped talking politics in the states because I realized that it's a very different conversation than it is in Canada. In Canada, there's, in a strange way, there's no... There's almost no, um, it's almost just, it's almost like talking sports, you know? Like, I mean, yes, people can get upset about certain stuff, but it's, it's generally fairly sort of benign in a conversation. But I found that talking politics in, um, in the States was almost always like, it was incredibly polarizing. Even before, you know, before the whole, the whole, uh, um, uh, you know, the whole, before the whole Trump thing happened. I mean... It was just incredibly polarizing, I thought. So that's one of the big changes I noticed. Was I, I just, that, that said, I, I don't like talking politics anyway, to be honest. But, um, okay, so you're stuck in Toronto. And uh, you could, can you work remotely? I mean, is it for the most part? I mean, 
Yeah, uh, I can do my job completely remotely, so it's all good here. And I got a, a pretty nice setup in my uh, basement office. So yeah. Uh, uh, what are you What are you running? What's the What's that? What's the internet? Um, I'm running a gigabit. Line oh. Or gigabit internet. Wow. So my connection's pretty strong. That's why. Is that I crazy think. expensive? Uh, no, actually, it's not that bad. It's about uh, I think I with Rogers, I'm paying about a hundred bucks a month. That's it. Wait, yeah, so is it just bad. a coax connection? It's not like a special business connection or anything. It's no, just a coax connection. Hey, Bass, you think we should get another connection? Maybe. <laughs> he doesn't know what I'm talking about. Um, back home says, "Be right back after this." Yeah, because we had Goodbye. Rogers, and I hated it. They would just—I we just had so many problems with it. It would slow down to an absolute crawl whenever anyone was home from school. I guess, uh, not just him. I mean, like, neighborhood-wise, and then. Um, so we went with Bell because I figured that at least, while it wasn't quite as fast, it was consistently, it was more consistent, and its upload speeds were amazing. So that made a big difference. But um, oh yeah, I, I would prefer to go to Bell, but Bell in my area only offers 150 megabit, which is like 10 times slower. Yeah, which is where I'm at. Which is where I'm at. Uh, uh, but but I actually chose to go that route because because I um I just found I just found it kept going down. I just kept having problems. I couldn't get anyways whatever. Um, what's funny is I actually went to school years ago, like kindergarten, senior kindergarten. Like I went to school with, with, with one or two of the, of the Rogers kids, actually. So, um, awesome. I feel slightly guilty cutting them up then for that. So, <laughs> um, so, um, so you, now you've got a bunch of, these are the servers that we're thinking we could set up for the kids to try to hack into. Yeah. So, I uh, wanted to, we could set one up as a, it's called like a, a virtual machine host. Right. So it's basically one physical computer, and then we can set up Linux boxes, like Linux computers, desktops, and uh, Windows and stuff like that. And then mm. everyone could have their own kind of virtual computer they log into. Goodbye, uh, Rosie. And then they kind of do whatever they want. And worst case scenario, if they blow something up or break something, mm. you can always just re like reload the uh, the, vir the the firmware or the virtual machine, and huh. then they, everything goes back to like the, re the restore point. Fun. Yeah. So you have like sort of like a, a default setting Style, that you could just like sorry, that you just got back it. You could bring it back to if there's ever a problem. Um, yeah. That's well, that's great. And then okay. how would you? So what I would I do? I would just set. I would just have that running in the corner somewhere all the time. Or what's the? Was that sorry? I'm, I'm sure so I did. Sorry, sorry, Baz and I are both talking. No, it's fine. It's not I your fault. Uh, I just um, got something that's no. Baz has a concern. One of his dinosaurs seems to be stuck in a rock. No, 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 it's not my dinosaur. It's actually really good because this is how I tame turtles. Oh, I see. Is they I get... get these little fish to come towards me. Why are you swimming in its butt? <laughs> um, like I said, the ADHD stream. Oh, who's got to go? Malfi's got to go. All right, Malfi, look, get some fresh air. Very you. good idea. Get fresh air far away from people. Very smart. Uh, by gone, we can have like a thousand down, 40 up for 40 pounds. What is it, 40 pounds? That's probably like eight. It's, that's close, about the same, 100 bucks, about 100 uh, bucks, I'd say. Got away. See you, Malvi. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Malvi's leaving us. Cheerio! Oh, I think he's stuck. I'm hoping he's stuck. Um, so, uh, and, and from a bandwidth no, standpoint, is not. that something, I mean, is that, so, uh, these, these are, I'm assuming, remote, they could remotely access this stuff. Yeah, if we set it up on like a virtual network, then mm. they can remote in from like not your internet at home. So right, from right. Another location, or if you host it at your house, I think, or you're thinking of hosting it somewhere for the time being. Um, Style, you you're that. gonna want to get your back. Yeah, I don't even. Here. I don't even know. What, I'm not sure what the uh, like what like basically the best cheapest pros possibility. Basically, I mean, it's just. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I just, I just thought it'd be kind of fun to have. Where'd the slum go? There was, I think there was a service. It I don't even know if they do it anymore, but there was, there was. I remember back in the early, early days of the internet, there was. Oh, uh, there's two I think it might just even down need here. A bulletin board now. I think about it. It may have been that far. Three. Back. Um, that there was set up specifically okay, to be hacked. Gotta come out like it was it. just like, like here you go. Your goal is to get root. Um, and I think, you know, given that my kids are 8 to 12, they're probably not going to go there. But, um, well, who knows? I mean, who knows for that matter? Um, Style, you got I just thought it would be kind of fun to show them that as a possibility or maybe even open it up to other kids who are interested in the Tech Bandit sort of 
approach to things. Sorry, I was asking for them to play. Oh, no, for I them to play no, with. Um, but so, how would that work with these virtual with these virtual machines? I gotta get my. Uh, well, we would set up multiple virtual machines, and then yeah. they would uh, we would have to give them the credentials to log in, like an IP address and username and password. Then right. they can log into those machines, and then if it's a Linux box with like a desktop, then mm -hmm. they can you know go to terminal and do what they want to do. Or if it's a Windows box, then they same thing, oh. username, password, and so they're basically they trying to hack something in the system that they've been given. So they we could even have it set up for them, type thing. Yeah, that so would be neat. May, maybe may make up some scenarios like yeah. your goal in this box, log in here with these credentials, and your goal is to do this, and then you know that could be mm. one of the activities. Huh? Yeah, that's neat. So your goal would be to go in, do something, and then delete the log or something like that. Um, yeah. And then actually, one of the there is a game I used to play, uh, really really cool game. It's called Uplink. They still have it on Steam, oh. like really cheap. But it is fantastic for the basic concepts of like hacking into computer systems and you know really? upgrade. Oh yeah, you get like a virtual computer. To I'm writing it down. Upgrade it, and no, then uh, you ha you it all works off like IP addresses, so that really you can, like, go to a bank, like a financial institution. And then you can log in and I try to hack the, the login. And oh, then try that's to cool. Take all the money from the banks. Oh my god, this so is like my dream game. What's it called? Uplink? Oh yeah. Uplink. Uplink. Yeah. All right, I'm checking it out. Well, we could even maybe we could even just do like a uh, do like a a, a um, you know like a live stream of gameplay. Just try that. Here. See what see if any of them have any any uh, any interest oh, in that. Okay. I mean, you just you never know what they're gonna what they're gonna get interested in. That said, I almost don't care because as long as I'm interested. Wait, did it just <laughs> run away? Anyway, it mainly comes down to me. Um, and then we have to figure out getting together at some point. Um, and as I say, I'm just a little reticent right now because I'm like, I'm telling him he can't have play dates and stuff. So I don't know. How are you feeling about this stuff? I don't know if you were on the stream earlier, but we had a whole, a whole chat about like self, uh, not self-isolation, but self, uh, you know, the distancing, social distancing and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I was in and out during that conversation. Um, yeah, it's kind of scary what's going on out there. You know, it's a, I think it's the first time in a long time that anything's happened at this scale before. And, uh, yeah. you know, social dis distancing is, it's a good idea. You know, try to nip it in the bud before it gets worse because, you know, it only multiplies. Um, well, that way, and that number start dropping, then it'll, you know, maybe we can make different arrangements, but, uh, yeah. You know, my, my family, my parents are having a oh. 50th wedding anniversary. Oh, it's Taman! I was just like, yeah, you may want to postpone yeah. that. Maybe yeah. postpone that, yeah. No, it's 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 amazing, isn't it? I I, I mean, yeah. I, as I say, I'm I'm like a hypochondriac. I'm a I'm a total germaphobe. I'm like an absolute coward in every regards. Um, so I'm always sort of slightly nervous about this stuff. But uh, weirdly, now that it's happening, I find even then I'm not. I'm not cautious enough. Like, I, there's things I just hadn't even sort of considered. It was funny because yeah, Baz, like, 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 today, literally, Baz is like, oh, you know, we want to have a play date with my friend. And I was like, oh, then I was like, no, no, you, you can't. I mean, I'm on it. Like, it's a family of, like, one, two, three, three kids, three kids, uh, but like a, uh, like a, a split family. So there's also, there's, two dads there's you know like there's a lot of people interacting all the time it just seems like a silly thing to i mean i feel bad but at the same time it's like no i just don't think it's worth taking that on you know um but i was joking with you oh right one of the jokes that's right i could just read you my email <laughs> okay, this is how behind i am it's easier for me to, so i was just saying so okay here we go i'm gonna go to my okay, here we go here we go uh here we go alex oh my God, so alex this is amazing Thank you so much. I apologize it's been such a ridiculous long time in making this happen. Um, uh, and then I said, ah, sushi, the uncooked fish of the corona apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe we'd do coffee instead. Um, uh, and then sort of not sure what's going on right now. Yeah, really, it's just, uh, as I say, it's just that, that weird weird craziness. Um, and, uh, and that we should chat. There you go. And then for some reason, I didn't get around to actually sending that. Um, so... Uh, so, uh, so I don't know. Like, what can we do? Um, I mean, is it? Would you mind? Can you? Do you mind holding on to them for a little longer, just till we figure I out what's what's, what's happening? I never one of these. 
I don't want you stuck with stuff. I'm gonna probably try to breed it with uh, no, one of somebody I've, else's. I've had this long, you know, it's just sitting there. So I can just let it sit there until, you know, things calm down a bit. All right. Uh, and in the meantime, you know, we could probably discuss maybe some plans of action that you want to yeah. make for ideas. And then, you know, when we do meet, we can try to put some of those together. That'd be great. Because, look, I mean, the networking side of stuff is I am so – I, I hate you. I hate you? I hate it. Why? What's happening? I hate it. What's happening? I tamed it, and I hate it so much. <laughs> you hate it because you had it was I such a pain. I hate it so much. It took me an hour. Really? I hate it. So what can you call it? I no. hate. Um, what should I call you? What's that? I uh, like call it Bill, last... like Bill Hater. <laughs> or Turtle. What's the name of the cool dude? Oh, uh, what is it? Oh, I don't know what his name is. What was that one called? Sick bro. Flipper noggin. Dude. Dude, remember that we used to do that as yeah. kids. I'm looking up. I'm looking. Crush. 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 There you go. Oh, that's actually perfect. That's perfect, actually. Okay. There was also, a crushing, I'll stop. crushing experience. Hey, Crush. Um, you're going in my Pokeball. Well, and also, you know, what's what? Uh, what's your interest, in Zenas? What is there stuff that you want to play with? Is there anything you'd be interested in? I mean, I, I also want you to be doing stuff that's of, of interest and fun to you too. You seem to like running the server and stuff. Yeah, like, uh, like I run the ARC server and I do some other <laughs> kind of tinkering on the side. What sort of uh, stuff? Like, what do you play with when you're when you're when you get to play? What do you play with? I'm so proud. Um, I don't know. I kind of whatever is of interest at the time, right? <laughs> in right. My spare time. I don't have anything right now in particular. I'm just kind of running the ARC server and focusing on my day job type thing. But right. uh, I would love to, you know set up some of those uh the, like the virtual machines and try to make some scenarios or something like that for that would be fun kind of go into yeah i've never done something like that before so that'd be kind of interesting to kind of set up well, and work with and i think they might have fun even just the idea of having their own little like accounts to goof around with and stuff like i mean i just think that could be kind of neat um there was yeah, a guy their own personal computer they get right it yeah looks, if you log in it look like windows for example and then you right. do whatever you want in it right it's or make it really cryptic and make them do all the old all those damn command line things that i used to do have to do when i was uh, like when i exactly yeah you know cause... Do... just give them dos <laughs> that's it oh god We're... i used to love dos man it took a long time to get me off dos but the Linux thing, so I used to have to, it wasn't even Linux, it would have been a Unix machine. When I first got internet access in Toronto, the first internet access I could get in Toronto, I think it was a company called... Ocean Base. God, My what was it called? Um, I, oh, I have a... Uh, it was like one of the first one. It wasn't Passport.ca. It was Inter. Uh, inter. You think I'm going to cry? Inter.ca, I think it was. I.O. Something like that, or I.O. Org, or something like that. I think it might have been IO org. Listen uh, to no, that. It's I'm like, not stuck in um, but it was, and it was a Unix okay. only. Like you would go in and have to log in using a Linux. You would dial in using your, you know, super powered forty eight baud modem or whatever it was, forty eight hundred baud modem, whatever it was. Um, and um, and then you would, uh, yeah, you'd have to, you'd have to be using the Unix commands the whole time. It was great. I loved it. What's up? Your hands are freaking freezing. Ooh, look at his face. He's got like double I, I eyes and everything. Him. Your hands are freezing. I take it hurts for you to touch that. my arm. That's how that's how frozen you are. Hand. Um Maggie wants to go on a walk with me. That it just goes in straight to like a terminal and then they have to do there something from there. And maybe before we start them hacking, we could start off like the basic setup of like a Linux machine from huh. right when you kind of like first install it, like how do you set it up or something like Wait, get yeah or even just give them the prompt and say and or give them the prompt and let them play see what they can do with it i mean is that yeah. risky is that a is that a i mean there's no there's nothing there's no important data on it i mean no, next thing machines so there's nothing it's just bare bones they can do whatever they want and if they oh. break it we um, just stop. What, does <laughs> what do you think what about that uh what do you think about this whole uh what's it called the memory leak what? That new memory hack just leak thing, that Intel is the, the predictive thing, what's it called? Oh, the scepter? Yeah. How yeah. cool is that? Yeah. Is it an issue for you? Like, I guess security, if you're dealing with government stuff, you must security must be a huge issue for you. Oh, yeah. yeah especially in the States. There's so many different certifications that you, they need to have. 
because mm. we're holding their HR information, right? That's ev everyone's pay. <laughs> right. What they get right. paid, you know, like uh, basically tons of confidential information. So our company is always very active on making sure their certifications are always up to date and all that mm. kind of stuff. So what certifications do you do you have? Like what sort of stuff are you did you did you get to do this? Plus me, actually me, everything is self taught. Oh really? Yeah, I just kind of had an interest. It started off with like DOS back when I was like eight. <laughs> right. My Tandy 1000 computer. That hey! Drive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Tandy. What were they called? The yeah. trash? The, uh, the, no, the Tandy. Yeah, was that, that wasn't the trash. No, that was a different one, wasn't it? Oh, God. The, yeah. Those are the Radio Shack ones. Loved them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, can't remember. Those I had the. Were, yeah. It, I, had the, I had the the Commodore 64 was the was really the one that really Do sort of blew my mind. Although there were 8086s, the I believe. My I dad had an old them. piece, an old IBM, Pardon? from from money. way way back. Um, so you got into it from, I, 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 it's so funny how gentrified this stuff has got, right? Because it used to be you only could self taught, because there was no, there wasn't even a computer, there weren't computer classes, you know, for the most part, there just weren't, there was no other way of doing it. You had to learn yourself. Um, well, in, in high school, I remember, you know, the class was keyboarding. You actually got a credit for learning how to type on a keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> that was the greatest. Yeah. I had, to, I took computer science for about two classes because I thought, oh my God, this is great. I'm going to love it because I was programming in basic and I thought I knew and I would then playing with the DOS stuff and everything. And um, I got into computer class. They handed me a bunch of punch cards. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, I'm <laughs> done. I'm out. Um, yeah, it was ridiculous. They were so far behind. But of course, that's the very nature of education, isn't it? Is that it's always going to be behind the curve when what it comes to the I business do? side of stuff. Because you just can't possibly be, you know, unless you're on this stuff all the time, you're never going to be up to date on it. Which I feel is, yeah. uh, there was a great thing about the, the future of learning crib and, I don't know what to do with it. and educational systems. They were saying that we're no longer going what? to go to university. We will subscribe to university because you're going to constantly need to be updating those skills, especially with oh, IT stuff. Awesome. Um, oh, yeah. Technology is constantly changing and everything. It's. Uh, I love it. Yeah. I, this, oh, I, we live in a very exciting time. You know what I mean? There's like every few years, there's always something great and amazing that comes out. Yeah. Um, oh my God. Well, this is my thing is I always my, my now, great hope um, for society in every way is always technology. To now, maybe I'm just a little. Maybe I'm just a, you know, whatever it's called. No. Um, uh, sorry, you got cut off. I didn't hear what you said. Oh, that's me. I probably oh. cut you off. No, no, sorry, sorry. No, no, the, the sound itself cut off. Anyways. Oh, uh, do you need a platform saddle to build on him? Uh, no, I think you can just drop foundations on him. Man, that is an ugly turtle. Well, look. <laughs> that's just a big, uh, that's like how I feel after a really big dinner. I'm able to walk so many on him chins now. and all that stuff. Um, well, uh, uh. The, one of the things I absolutely love about the whole tech side of stuff now is is the online now courses. There's everything. just there's so many things now. Remember, like, plowing through those, like, Sam's how to learn whatever in 21 days, you know? Where you're, like, trying to get the page. And, I... of course, it was out of date as soon as you had the Maybe book. I should go tame a um, right and, and now, and then I just watch. You else. go watch people do things, and then you go and you do it yourself. It's just amazing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Style, when not I first got into it oh, with my sorry. candy... Uh, <laughs> the reason I got into it was because uh, my cousin had a game called Where in the World is Carmen Sandiego. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I remember that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I, w I, w I wanted to play it so bad, but I could only play it at his house. So I actually read at a very young age the DOS manual to try to figure out, teach myself how to copy a game onto another disc so that huh. I could copy at home. And that's basically what started it all for me back that's so funny. <laughs> okay, so mine was mine's mine was actually Dungeons and Dragons, and I couldn't get anyone to play with me oh, no, because no, no, no. it was not seen as particularly cool. And I had sort of, for want of a better word, cool friends. Um, um, this was kind of before I got in with my film my film bunch. Um, so uh, and I was kind of stop. embarrassed to bug people, All and people would laugh. And so I I started writing my own little Dungeon Master programs in Basic. Um, and basically just sort of random numbers for the die and, and some generating characters and, and damage and, um, and then different, I would write different scenarios for the rooms and then it would randomly pull up whichever one you want. And that was my way of playing Dungeons and Dragons. Um, and then like an idiot, I should have freaking sold them, uh, because text-based adventures was, that was the way to go back then. Um, oh, yeah. but I used to, 
I get this. I used to just erase them with a new one, or I would just give them to friends. That was what, <laughs> it's like people, you know. Um, but uh, oh god, I used to love love that stuff. Um, it's become much more complex than I can keep tabs on now because, I mean, you know, there's, there are advantages and disadvantages to the acting, obviously. But one of the disadvantages of acting is that you, it's very hard to to truly focus on one thing because you know at a moment's notice you get a call and you're suddenly off you know <laughs> kneeling in front of bradley cooper as i was as i was on friday thursday night or whatever it was um so uh so it's very it, it's one of those things i've always wanted to focus on but of course it's, it's very difficult to do that unless you've got a specific reason or 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 goal to reach with this stuff it's very difficult i find to uh, to, to learn enough about it. I'm plowing through data science right now because I'm was something I was always fascinated by. Um, but I used to, so, so, so sorry, so it was, it was, yeah, it was, it was a Commodore 64 was basic for me. I think it was Commodore, I can't remember if it was a Commodore. I feel like there was one before that that my dad had this weird orange screen and, and, and uh, cryptic DOS-like commands and stuff. But because um, my father was an early adopter and used it for his, his, his medical practice long before anybody else was doing it. Um, but at one point, I, was do I remember I was doing Kung Fu, Legend Continues, and I quit. I was like, I can't do this anymore. I can't stand it. I mean, you know, it was just bizarre to me that, that shows could be based around someone who was so, basically so drunk most of the time that he, he couldn't really participate properly. Um, and, uh, and that no one, it was like this elephant that no one discussed in the room. You know what I mean? Like, you know, we're like four hours behind. Why? Because he hasn't left his trailer yet. Like that kind of stuff. And as a kid, I was very, I was, it was like, this is not the way it should be. This is wrong. Anyways. And then this, I'd been helping this guy out who was working, um, he was working at a voicemail company. Um, and one of the things I, I, I mean, he was doing a lot of manual entry and stuff and, and, and had some questions about sort of tech support that had come up around the office. So I, when he quit, and I went to my first and only job interview and got it, working at this voicemail company, doing IT for them. Like, so I did, I would set up these QNX boxes with multiple 486 um, motherboards, basically. It was just some kind of a server setup that had multiple multiple 486s. I remember thinking like, oh man, I just want one of them. Oh yeah, <laughs> ladies and grace, the 486. Oh my God, the 486. <laughs> is that what it was? I can't even remember. It was just, but I remember this system had like, I think it was like four or five of them. And the heat, the heat was insane. Like they had to, they would go and find little, basically closets in buildings and then like put like three giant uh, AC units on it. And these things would just sit there by themselves. And it was all Cunix, all remote access Cunix stuff. So I would I'm write so little scripts to do... They would just basically set up mailboxes. But it was a packet network just before the internet became available to people. So it was a it was a voicemail system, but it was a packet system that allowed you to... It would split up the messages and fire them off to the internet um, through the net, through... Sorry, through a private network um, of like ISDN lines and all this kind of stuff all around the world because it was a multi-level marketing company, right? Yeah. So it was really neat. I just loved it. Oh, hey, baby. Did you ever try lot, uh, bulletin board systems back in Oh, yeah, the BBS yeah, system. The I loved it. Modem BBS is, yeah, I used to run one of those, too, in, in my youth. Really? <laughs> uh, hang on yeah. one second. Well, I'll talk about that in a second. My wife's here, so I just want to just check in with her. How are you, baby? I'm good, thanks. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. We're just streaming away. Okay. Yeah. How about how are you doing? Oh, not too shabby. I went to go see me. Um, what was that? It's your third hour. Rex, another a female Rex. Is it three hours? Uh, yeah. You start breathing. Holy moly. Um, Captain Calvin Cap's waving hi, by the way. Yes, hi. Um, hi. I'm going to get that one and then put on the two that are going to be spoken away from the park. Okay. The same set. Yeah. So that we can have two. All right, so we'll wrap up and go yeah. for a little walk. And walk tomorrow. Oh, Very good. All right. Thank you, baby. Dun, dun, dun. Dun. All right. Love you. <laughs> All right. We've just been given, that's it. We've been given our marching orders, Baz. Oh, uh, what's happening? So we've got about maybe 20 minutes because um, we, apparently we've been streaming for like three hours. Is that possible? <gasps> Two hours and 53 minutes? Holy moly. Man, time sure flies uh, when you're... I'm sure we'll have time. When I'm talking. <laughs> I have the kibble and everything. Um, 
Sorry, so you ran BBS. Yeah. See, I always wanted to run a BBS. I wanted to run an internet service provider when they first started. Like, that was, like, the dream of mine. Uh, I, I, need need the yeah. I looked into it, and my biggest issue was I just heard there was so many concerns. There were so many problems with the phone company, right? They were so... Um, uh, I mean, they, 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 they were just obstructed, basically. They, they, didn't, they didn't want you doing it. They didn't understand it. Um... But I had quite a, a fair amount of telco in, uh, well not, I, I, sorry, I had a small amount, I suppose, of telco um, knowledge because of the voicemail company. So we had all these direct inward dial numbers and all that kind of stuff. So it was, um, I thought it, it just seemed like a perfect, a perfect move for me, but I just never, uh, I, I never found myself at that point where I felt I knew enough to do it, if that makes sense. And then of course it all, it went, it went crazy. Um, so what BBS did you run? What were you, what were you running? Um, oh, I can't remember the exact software, but I, I was... I wouldn't know. Internet became big, right? Yeah. You ran BBSs? Yeah. Like you wanted files, like media? Yeah. Like you wanted a wave, like a sound clip of like a TV show you watched? Like yeah. you could only get it by like a BBS, right? Yeah. And it would take and you days you to download it. Oh yeah. <laughs> sure. You would actually have, and you have time limits, right? You would only have like, we would tap you at like a one hour or half an hour connection. Oh, that's so right. Person can connect at a time. Yeah, right? you don't want to hog the modem. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. So you you may be downloading a big file over the course of a week because yeah. you can only download it in thirty minute increments or something like. I that. remember that. I remember downloading. I remember downloading Linux, and it was disk after disk after disk to run oh, yeah. it. Um, I mean, disc, literally, like, <laughs> uh, oh, that's amazing. Oh, see, that was something else. I, I, this, I have a certain kind of, there's maybe just a retro charm thing. Like, you yeah, almost want to do it again. I almost want to go back. It would be so frustrating. I can't even imagine. Remember those, the way images would slowly, slowly come down line by line. <laughs> yeah. Um, I had a friend who's text-based games on the, BBS? oh yeah. Oh yeah. Or what? You're like RPG, like you have an army, and then you would send your army to attack someone, and then it would go and attack them, and then the next time you log in as the opponent, like you'd right. be like, oh, someone attacked you and killed half your army oh. and took this resources. They were so, I mean, you had to be so ingenious with that stuff because there was such limited amount of time and bandwidth and, you know. I mean, we were talking the other day about, uh, Baz was saying that one of his friends really likes this text-based game of uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, and I remember that. I remember that on the Commodore. It was fantastic. But, um, but, but then, but now we're in this world. We're in this world where you and I can have a conversation about how the old world used to be while we're on another planet with dino. I mean, it's just, it's just gorgeous. I, like, this is exactly the future I wanted, minus the coronavirus. Um, this is sort of how I, I saw things going. I can't. I. Um, oh, sorry. My, I just teleported to space anger, ambergris because I thought that's, that's where I was. And then I just my biggest regret oh, is so that I, I I get sick playing VR because I feel like the immersive the next thing is the is like you know is the Johnny Mnemonic is the is the Neuromancer stuff. You ever read Neuromancer? No, I haven't. But I watched Johnny Mnemonic. <laughs> oh, it's a terrible movie. But it was. Um, <laughs> but it was based on uh, a couple of the of the Ready? William Gibson novels but I read Neuromancer okay. I guess Tell around the time now. that the internet was just I guess maybe just just oh, before the internet water, so I'll put and it, right there in a sec. It, it it like changed my life because it was all cyberspace and just this cool kind of the technology was no longer shiny and new and fancy it was like old and busted up and it was like it was it was like the difference between like a new laptop and a laptop with stickers on it. There was more pride to an old, bad up, beaten up deck than there was so a new, fancy new computer. So, you know. Technology with character. <laughs> yeah, which I think was was a was a huge shift um, for me. You know, um, you know, up until then, it was you space? know, technology was two thousand and one. Yeah, it was yeah. it was okay. it was um, it was Star Trek. You know, and it was a very sort of like clean lines and. And and sort of and yeah. com and complex stuff. It was never, as you say, it never had a character to it. Um, so bulletin board system, interesting. So how old were you when you were running the bulletin board system? And um, I was probably oh. like twelve, maybe thirteen. Oh. Oh. And were you entrepreneurial in it? I mean, were you making money? Was that the idea, oh, or was it? 
No, I was just doing it to do it. Ah, interesting. And then you so and you didn't go to school for university for um, for no, for computers okay. or what was the okay. education wise? What did you do? There. I think I'm on no, it now. No, uh, she went. To, I went to college to be a police officer. Oh, really? And, uh, yeah. And then uh, I ended up finding out afterwards that I was partially color deficient. So certain shades and certain colors look too similar to other colors. Oh wow! And it's and it's very small, around. but it's mo big enough that you can't be a police officer. So really? then I was like, okay. And then I kind of fell into payroll and HR, and then I eventually self-taught myself stuff and huh. do what I do now. Was there and was was there ever any interest in getting into sort of like uh, uh, like you know cyber cyber crimes and that kind of stuff? I mean. Because if you were interested in being a policeman, was that not – that didn't uh, – yeah. And you know what? That didn't occur to me at the time until years later. <laughs> well, it kind of didn't exist. You know what I mean? Like one of the things – one of the frustrations that, that – um, not frustrations. One of the things that I guess Let's Talk Science is really big on, which is this, this charity that I absolutely love, um, about sort of inspiring science, technology, engineering, and math and kids – um, is that if you don't know a job well, exists, you don't know you don't know that you want to be one. Whale. You know, <laughs> um, <laughs> and I think the whole cyber uh, crime okay. side of stuff is I know there's no it's way still it really new. Well, at least I mean, uh, oh, yeah. I mean, people are freaking out about it now it's because there are all these huge the rules now on what happens if you screw it up, right? Where is she? Oh, there's another like GDPR. Over. If you ever, I got her. You know, went to another kind of world war yeah would be mainly fought in the cy cybernetic like over the internet <laughs> i would argue we're already there like i mean given like you've got political manipulation you've got um oh, you've got yeah. uh, uh all sorts of industrial secrets it's industrial espionage all that's it's already happening like we're shutting down reactors in in you know iran or whatever it is um uh, yeah. like i feel i feel like we're it's already happening i think it, in that i feel like in, oh, she's back there. You know, in a hundred years' time, when people look back over history, they'll go like, "Oh, that's when the the cyber oh, war began." You know, in nineteen ninety, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, okay. um, we'll find out about it later, probably. Um, now, Actually, back. That's really interesting, well, David. Yeah. Um, speaking of hacking, you know, it might be cool to introduce this to your tech bandit kids. Mm. So. You know, you, when people think of hacking, they think, okay, well, you need a, a oh, internet yeah. connection, or connection to that computer. Mm. If you uh, Google air, air gap hacking, uh, huh. somebody yeah. has actually hacked a computer with no connection by literally listening to the sounds of the fan of the computer. No. So was able to extract the data from it. Oh yeah. my God! Really? Is it is it yeah. is it repeatable? Like they, because I've heard of them. I know they've done things where they they've picked up. They can actually pick up the screen. They can somehow recreate the screen based on fluctuations in like in magnetic, whatever the hell it is. I don't know whatever the hell they were using. Um, but wow, but air, wow. No, we're totally screwed then. Not that I've got any, you know, I'm not sure what they're gonna find is my old headshots. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's about as that's about as. Actually, come to think of it, I don't want those out. Um, uh, weird aside, I found. Uh, there was someone was telling me, or someone brought me a fo an old headshot of mine, to sign, and I was like, "Where, where did you get this from?" And there's a website that sells old headshots, but I was like, "But I don't know where they got them from because so they must have bought them from my old agent or something." Like it's just, uh, um, yeah, I was amazed that that actually got out there. Speaking of headshots, uh, okay, I'm so losing the threat. Because it's on the internet, it's forever there, right? Oh yeah, that's fine. I mean, and also as an actor, what are you gonna do? I mean, I. I, you know, I was playing male prostitutes on, on Night Heat back when I was, you know, 17 years old. And then I, you know, those, that mullet is, is there for good. It's not, it's not, it's not going away. Um, Xenos is saying, old headshots from Pin? Um, sorry, I've completely ignored the chat, haven't I? I've been, I don't... been phasing out. Um, okay, so I think we're going to need to uh, wrap this up because Mommy has said, has said so. I thought you said 20 minutes. We've probably been... How many minutes since then? I don't know. But um, but we should think about wrapping it up, though, kiddo. We've yeah. been on for uh, uh, sorry, five minutes. We've been on for five minutes? It's been five more minutes. Okay, all right. So I think, But I think the idea is that mom was going to shower, and then we're going to throw on some food, 
go for a quick walk so we've had some air. You've, I don't know if you've heard of that. It's, it's an outside thing. Yeah, we did about 10 minutes. We can do a rec another time best. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't start another team now if I were you. Okay. Because I will pull the ZPN. Um, uh, and as in us, we will, we can, I mean, we don't have to discuss, we don't always have to talk online. Uh, we, we can chat, uh, uh, we can chat offline as well. But, um, but, um, but yeah, I would love to work something out. In fact, if you want to, if I mean, if you want to, if you're happy to do it like this, so maybe we can actually have a stream email. where we discuss some ideas and 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 you and even to throw it out for people. Pardon? You want to look at a space? Yeah, we could definitely do that. Um, oh, I, Rail I've Cortex. Seen one, but not Rail Cortex. I saw those. Uh, oh, so so, okay, so, so I want that one. The uh, one. They were. I guess they were laser uh, etched. Tank, yeah. Laser etched um, uh, stargates that they'd uh, that they'd done. Looked amazing. Pull it, K. Michael said. Pull the ZPM. Right? Pull the ZPM. You have to shoot cannons into space. Oh, there you go. Uplink. There you go. It's probably gonna do one of the. Are you the K's on there, is it? Or is that someone else? What is the hardest tame in your uh, opinion? No, uh, I'm Azimus on. Oh, you are okay. Oh yeah, of course yeah. you are. Right, right, right. Okay, I just uh, that uh, they someone's put up. Thank you very much, then K's. Should probably head out. Let's yeah. put the right, link up. First. Let's put the link up for uh, for uplink. You teleport, and then you're gonna fall. And then you shall fall. All right. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, if you want to set something up, uh, David, just let me know whenever you're available, and we could, you know, well, plan I'll, what we want to do and do a stream or something like that. Um, well, look, I'm gonna be, yeah, I'm, I'm basically uh, as of tomorrow, I'm gonna be trying to figure out what what I can be doing online um, uh, from a from a tech vantage standpoint as well. So that's so that's great. We can, if you don't mind, I'll just uh, I'll also try you if you're around, and uh, if you are great, uh, if not. And vice versa. If you see so me online, just give me, a, give me a shout. Um, creature. Uh, uh, yeah, so what I'll probably be, as I say, I'll probably be on, we'll probably be on live tomorrow as well. I think. Baz, oh, yeah. you're probably going to stream tomorrow as well, right? Yeah. Baz, you'll want to stream tomorrow, right? I said yeah. Oh, you did? Okay, good. I said yes. Um, man, I got to eat too. I'm starving. A live stream for Tech Bandits. Yes, Captain Calvin Cat. Braille Cortex. Yes, so Braille Cortex. So you can't get to it because it was at school. Oh, my God. Uh, Braille Cortex is working on these really Put cool mechanical stargates, yeah. but made out of like in the wood, feeding trough? like little nicely cut little um, laser cut things. What happens if I? Um, it won't be until I work. From... Yeah, see, this is Braille Cortex. This is why I want to get a little router for home. It's got to be so much fun to be able to do some little cutouts yeah, things. Do you do any um, 3D printing or anything? Was that? You said is that... it would be two hours, you, and then there's you toyed with any of that stuff? I'll take no, one. It's actually on my list of the next things I want to do. I was trying to find out like a good brand, cost effective, <laughs> to get Prusa. and then tinker with. So Prusa, I I gotta say, from a from a from a from a three D printing standpoint, I love the Prusa. It takes two love hours. It. That's an older one. They've got newer ones now. I like them because if you if you like the idea of building them, they've got amazing. They're the the um, the build resources are amazing. Community's really fun. I like Prusa himself. You know, um, again, I'm not. What do you say? I'm not advertising. I'm not an advertiser. I sp I bought my own money. I spent my own money on that. Um, I so I would highly recommend that one, if you, especially if you want to build a kit. Prusa is fantastic. Um, uh, Prusa, it's uh, P R U S A, um, and they're uh, no, where they're based? Are they are they based? I, I feel like they're Czech as well. Okay, so it's the same pen. Uh, put all my hamburgers on. I'm not sure where they're based actually. Um, but they are. I might be on later. Probably not. Yeah, it's um, what I love about it is it's like, it's kind of, it's a bit sort of almost like a family shop. Like he's got he's got a a, a farm of his own three D printers printing the parts for his three D printers. So there's like a, <laughs> That's all, awesome. <laughs> all the parts are three D printed. Anything that can be three D printed is three D printed. Um, you know, obviously get a get a newer one. I've i mine mine is old, but even my old it's it's a battle axe. Like I just I've been using it for ages, Wait, and it's the nanny stays activated. it's like it's 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 indestructible. Yep, so I would it. highly recommend that. Um, uh, but if you are interested in that, um, then uh, let me know because I have got a bunch of friends in the three D printing community now. So if you want the if you want an exhaustive discussion on what 3d printer to buy uh it sounds like they're going to be doing a 
there's this thing called um, what do they call it? Murph or something? It's like a, a maker's. It's like basically a maker's fair for three D printers, and it's being canceled this year because of the virus. They want to do a, an online um, one. A crowd. Um, and so, if you want to learn anything about that well. stuff, that's the way to go. But I honestly, I would. If you just want to get into it and start doing it, I, the Proust is fantastic, is and it's not it's not ridiculously like, expensive either. I mean, like they're pros, you know, so that, um, like, I mean, it dep- you know, depending on your priorities, I don't think it's particularly expensive. But um, uh, so I like that one. Uh, that's the yeah, that's the that's the uh, I, that's also the only one that I have any experience with. I played with other ones like at the library and that kind of stuff, um, but they were all sort of larger, more expensive machines. And I just didn't feel like, well, I wasn't doing the Tech Bandits at the time, so I didn't really have the excuse. Now, what I really want to do is, and one of the things I'm sort of saving up for with the Patreon money and stuff, is the, um, uh, I'd really like to get a little router that they can, so we can actually start cutting things out, because 3D printing takes a long time. Um, it's just, it's one of those things that just, it's just the nature of the deposit you know, depositing those little layers of, of plastic just takes a long time. So from a kid's perspective, it's, like, interesting for all of, like, two minutes. But <laughs> yeah. but the idea of them being able to, like, design something on a free program like um, uh, Tinkercad and then being able to just cut it out and watch it happen on a little desktop system, I think would be, I think, far more valuable. So I'm, I'm, I've been talking to a couple of companies uh, about possibly having them donate one because they're, you know... St- it's like, eh, you know, 700 bucks there, 700 bucks there. It adds up. Um, and, uh, material costs. <laughs> well, and then there's the materials as well. Yeah. Then you're getting into that stuff. But, uh, again, it's, it's all, it's all doable. I just, uh, I think I'm just trying desperately to convince my wife that it's not just a hobby, <laughs> 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 that it, that it could maybe support itself to some extent. That would be nice. Um, but I, but it really is. I just, I, I just love it. But yeah, so that's the other thing to consider is if you, uh, like have, if you, if you want to, if you have any interest in the woodworking side of stuff, if, if you don't want to do a printer, then, then consider a router as well. Cause that again is a very sort of immediate thing. I think for you though, you probably have more fun with the 3d printer because it's just, you know, it's, you could be building little boxes for your, for your Arduinos and, and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, it's amazing. Maybe you could learn how to be a teacher. Who? Me? <laughs> I, it's funny, I never, I, I did a speech, I did a speech at this, at this, um, this Let's Talk Science thing, and, and I was looking up, I wanted to see what the opposite of a teacher was, because I thought, no, no, I wanted to see what the opposite of a student was, because I was saying, like, I was such a bad student, I was like the opposite of student. I was, and I looked it up, and it said teacher, and I thought there was a great irony there that someone who was so terrible at school like i was just awful i was yeah i mean not i wasn't a bad kid i wasn't a disruptive kid i just had absolutely no interest in the school system and it seemed like if you told me to do something i would do the opposite i just i just i hated it um but i have always loved learning so i just thought it was kind of there's a certain irony in the fact that i was looking for the opposite i was trying to explain myself as i'm such a bad student i'm a teacher <laughs> That was basically my point. Um, all right. Baz, how are we doing? I don't mean to wrap it up. It's just okay. I'm getting tired. I'm going to lose my voice at this point. Um, and, uh, yeah, let's have a look here. Up time. Probably. Um, yeah, so it's been, it's been almost 20 minutes. Almost 20 minutes. Let's, uh, depending on if you're at a good, if you're at a good, uh, a good point here, maybe we should, we should wrap it up. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, but as Ennis, we shall we shall talk again. Jack, are you still hanging out? He's so quiet. He's in voice chat. He's in voice chat, but he might have fallen asleep. It's pretty late for him. Yeah, he might have or fallen asleep. Or muted himself. Muted himself. Oh, that's possible too. That's true. All right. I do that all the time. Well, anyways, I think I. Oh, hey, Jack's back. Did you fall asleep, Jack? Yeah. Were you asleep? Oh, I was muted. Oh, you were muted. Okay. All right. All right. I thought maybe we'd lost Well, you're muted for so there. long. I feel so uh, bad. Yeah, it feels like it's you've been uh, you've been silent for so long. I was getting nervous. Normally, you hear little noises. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You miss those little noises somehow. <laughs> um, I miss Cal's meows. Yeah, exactly. It's weird not having Cal here too. It's a good point. Yeah. She just sort of drops in every so often and just like insults me on text and then and then takes <laughs> off again. Um, all right, so look, I'm going to start wrapping up now. I'm going to say, Zenas, thank you so much for coming and joining us. Joining yeah. us in our little chat. 
Um, here. We will talk. Uh, we'll, we'll probably end up talking again tomorrow, anyways. But uh, and Jack, thank you for muting yourself. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure not to <laughs> listen to your little grunts and groans as you as you work your way through the dinosaur stuff. Ruby K, thank you for being you, Baz's Obi One Arc Kenobi. Uh, anytime. Also, Baz did blow up a holy ground, by the way. <gasps> Good to know. Is that the little guys? Yeah, the little lizards. The and little, also the little my, geckos? my creature is at Oh my god, I don't know how you play this game. I just get sick watching. Oh, oh, you could, ah, you could teleport. Ah, very good. All right, so we're going to wrap up. Puddle Jumper says her favorite teaching quote is, you can't teach a person anything, but can only help them find it within themselves. Well, even more so today, because the reality is, if you want to learn anything, you just go on YouTube, basically. I mean, this, I, I mean... God, like, Zenith, could you imagine trying to learn computers now? It'd be so great. What, what is it? Oh, I know. Everything's at your fingertips now. It's yeah. Great. You want I mean, to start a new hobby or learn something, even the basics? There's that, always a tutorial somewhere. Well, that's it. I, I was at this, I I was at this science fair, the Canada-wide science fair, whatever it was, oh, and the kids oh, were, like, doing all these amazing things, and, and grown-ups kept coming up and going, like, oh, my God, isn't it amazing? I was like, no, it's not amazing. They're just interested. And so they look things up. Like, it's not, they're not... The kids aren't any smarter than we were. It's just that they have access to these tools that, if they can be, if they can be inspired to use them, will change the world for the better for sure. You know. What do I name them? And oh, what do you name them? You can learn when you're interested in something too. <laughs> well, that's exactly it. And if you, and that so that's my big push for the tech bandits thing is like, how do you inspire them to learn something? Naming your glow tails. What about deadly and nightshade? Or. Like like a like a somehow like a two like a good sort of like yeah, combined name. Yeah, good duo name. You could call one deadly and one nightshade. You could call them. Uh, what about some anime? Are there anime twins or anything? Twin powers. Um, Pip and Squeak. Or you could call them Casper and what was the other? What else? He was called Casper and we Casper called him Lemon. Lemmy. Calvin and Hobbes. Oh, Calvin and Hobbes is good. <laughs> do you do you ever read Calvin but and are Hobbes? Are they lizards? No. You never read Calvin and Hobbes. What about uh, someone from Lock and Key, the comic books? Zan and Jana. There you go. That could work. Ha. Uh, Cal Captain Calvin Cat wants Calvin and Cat. Calvin and Cat. That's not bad. <laughs> I could do Calvin and Hobbes. I love Calvin and Hobbes too. I don't think you've ever. I don't think you've ever no, seen I've Calvin and Hobbes. We went looking for Amanda and David. Oh. Um. Ha. Come on, two little cute little lizard guys. They gotta have with glowing with tails. With glowing tails, yeah. Mm. Shepherd and Ronan. What's yeah. something? Toothless. Toothless is good. Toothless, but I want to name my wyvern okay. Toothless. Oh, the wyvern's gotta be Toothless. It's true. Um, hmm. Hmm. Hewlett and Packard. <laughs> Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper's good. Oh, I like salt and pepper. Yeah, that's good. Salt and pepper's really good. I'm thinking I'm gonna do salt and pepper. You're thinking that, and you're typing that. Um, all right, and on that note, I think we're gonna be wrapping it up. So we shall say good night to everyone, or good afternoon, or whatever the hell. Zan and Jan, the Wonder Twins. That's good, Zenas. That's very good. Bit and bite. Cal, thanks for coming, everybody. Remember to wash your hands and cough into your elbow. Thank you, Cal. Look at Cal doing her public service message. Um, it's called the uh, the Dracula cough. The Dracula cough. It is very Dracula. That's so true. We should all be wearing like giant like antiseptic capes of some sort. Um, I, you know what I gotta say? I like bit and bite bygones. I would have gone yeah. for that. Yeah. I could change the name again. Um, you could. I get, Pete I, and repeat. Ha <laughs> ha! Pete and repeat. That's pretty good. Anyway, that's a dad joke, obviously. Um, all right. Seathor. <laughs> Seathor, have you been have you been uh, lurking? I guess you have. Good one, puddle jumper. Yeah. Pack bums with you, Paul Jumper. Uh, all right, everybody. Darling Clementine's already saying cheerio for me. I'm gonna do bit and bite. I'm sorry. I'm pulling the ZPM. Sorry, no. Baz, no, you going? You're naming them. Bit. Bit and bite. And bite with a B Y with a B Y T E. Yeah. There you go. Very nice. All right. Now that we've named bit and bite, I think it's time to we've named bit and bite. Now to say good night. Um, all right, before my mom, before mom comes down and gives us all a fright. Uh, so I guess we'll probably see you tomorrow. I'll make yeah. sure that I, I 
you know, throw out a, a We could twist. say it now when we're going to be streaming tomorrow again. I don't know. We're we going to aim for... Oh, God, your hands are too cold. Stop it. You're like a dead come child. Back, a zombie back. child. Of hands of death. Cold. No, Stop it. You're like a white help. walker. Uh, my white walker son, Baz. Um... Uh, what, well, do you want to aim for like 2 o'clock again tomorrow? Yeah, we'll do. We'll is 2 o'clock a good time for people? How I about you, Zena? So you, is 2 o'clock any good to you? Um. Oh, no, you were on later, weren't you? You were more like 3 or something. 3 or 4. Well, I, I'm Eastern, so tomorrow's Monday, so I'm usually working until about 5 Eastern, but I could probably jump on for a bit. Okay, well, maybe come on later or whatever. Yeah, be, I mean, feel free. Jump on if you, uh, I if you're free. I 5 would be better. You want 5 o'clock? No, Captain Great, so we could just do lots of exercise and walking around all day until no, 5, and no. then at 5 o'clock we come in and okay, do our... Okay, 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock. No, 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 I think you're right. Think... Okay, no, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll tweet it. We'll, first off, we have a, we'll have a family fight, and then we'll decide what's going to happen and then go from there. So, uh, hey, Jack's back. I just heard a little noise. Yes, I'm here. Yes, of course. Um, and we've also got to get... Would you stop? <laughs> Your hands are like... Seriously, they're like ice. Um, Please. Uh, and then Jack, we've got to do a stream with Jack at some point too, right? Yes. Oh, Captain Calvin Cat, my wife could join if she wasn't trying to produce a movie during the end of the world. Like, that's the, you know, the poor woman is trying to sort out the final paperwork on a movie that's supposed to start in Thank May, you, and the world is ending. So it's a little, it's a little difficult. K. Michael says 4 o'clock. But K. Michael also wants us to do a co, like a, uh, wants us to be doing a, um, a Stargate viewing party. You're stalling. You're stalling, no. mister. He's stalling. No, Dad, no, I'm not. All right. In any everybody. Way, you're the one that's stalling. Thank you to everybody. I'll do a special little thank out to James Gurney as well for all of his knowledge and uh, his good humor. I don't know if you, yeah, as soon as you heard maybe a bit of that, but I, the poor guy was grilling the guy. You got off light compared to, uh, to, uh, to, poor, uh, to poor James <laughs> Gurney. I'll be grilling you about, about, uh, about cybersecurity at some point, I'm sure. So, um, um, uh, all right, so we will say good night. I guess that's it. ZPM is being pulled. We're shutting down. So until we see you tomorrow, cheerio. cheerio.